Let's get this going and we should be good. All right, how's everybody doing tonight? Brian back with another live stream. Today we're going to be jumping in, continuing our playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, yeah, everything's been going pretty damn well in this game. Now today what we're going to do is we're going to spend a little bit of time going out and uh, trying to finish off my satchel. I, I'm like right at the end uh, of getting the legendary satchel. I have all the other ones. We just literally need to finish it off and get the legendary one, which um, from what I remember, I think it was two predators that we needed. I think it was a cougar and a wolf. But we're going to hop in, we're going to check it out, and uh, we will go from there. And uh, while we're out and about, we might hunt some legendary animals and stuff like that. And then, you know, we'll jump in and do some more story. But yeah, we are going to be doing a little bit of hunting. Doing a little bit of hunting. All right. Well, how, other than that, how's everybody else doing today? Okay, let me, uh, yeah, so we had a Sadie Adler mission here. And other than that, I think the map is looking pretty clear for the most part. All right. I'm doing, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. All right, so I'm going to head into camp here. We're going to go check and see what we need. Who's that? It's me. You're back. For the satchel. Uh, we also need to eat. Arthur, Arthur, is the, he's hungry. What are these two doing? What do you think? Is it going to be a good day, Mr. Strauss? When did we last have a good day? True. <laughs> it was good working with you, Mr. Strauss. Yes, well, I suppose it worked out in the end. Yeah, we did good. So, you going to look into this bank? Yes. I want to make sure we're fully prepped before making any moves. For sure. Hmm. Robin okay, a bank. I'll catch you later, then. Okay. Sounds a little sketchy, doesn't it? You would think with all the heat that we have on us already, like we've been barely able to pull off any jobs, and they're trying to pull off a bank. Good. to hear it. Okay, so let me see. What do we need here? Oh, Mr. Morgan, I've jotted down a few things that I think could be uh, nice additions around here. Okay, so I already have the perfect deer. Yeah, we need a perfect cougar and a wolf. Thanks, Pierce. My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I hear you. I got bat wings. I don't know what those are for. Probably use them for some type of crafting. Sorry, got nothing for you right now. All right, so we are going to head out. Um, let me see. Wolves and cougars. I don't know. That's not a cougar. That's a leopard, right? Pretty sure that's a leopard area. Um, let me see here. So, so I'm trying to figure out where I, I can even find those animal types. Um, I know there was some wolves over here north of Strawberry. And there's the legendary wolf, so I think that might be a, the cougar symbol right there. Or a mountain lion. This might work up here. And there was also wolves in this area, but... Um, we're just going to have to kind of keep our eyes open. If not there, we could go over to the spring. The legendary wolf's up here. And I think there was a... Isn't there a building over here that I needed to check? 
think there was a building over here near the near the the W. So yeah, I think we'll go uh we'll go swing this area here. And we'll try to see if we can get ourselves a uh a cougar and a wolf. Perfect pelts. So let me see. Do I have the uh where is it? Player No. Nope. It'd be in maybe progress. Compendium. Animals. Uh, I, I hopefully we'll get lucky and a wolf and a cougar need to be hunted with the same anim, uh, same weapon type. So cougars are native to New Austin, West Elizabeth. Yep, awesome. Uh, remote forested sections of New Hanover. As carnivores, they prey on deer, elk, and moose, and mountain goats. The easiest way to take a cougar down of this size is either with a bow, uh, a bow with the bow with a poison arrow, or a rifle. Okay. So we can use a poison arrow or a rifle. And I know I have wolves on here because we've been killed by plenty of them. Here we go. And let's see. So they said that these these wolves, gray wolves at least, um Main habitat is Big Valley region. I don't know exactly where that is. Uh, it's recommended to use long-range weapons like rifles. Okay, so both of them can be hunted with a rifle. Um, so I believe my bolt-action rifle should be suffice for both of them. Or I might even be able to use the long... The only thing I'm worried about is if I use my... Um, my long Whoa. block or whatever, the sniper, it's going to do too much damage. Yeah. And I, I don't want to do too much damage. Let me see. So I could... I got my bolt action rifle here. We could maybe use bolt action with, like, high velocity or express. Yeah, maybe even express rounds. Um, Or I could use my rolling block here with express. But I'm, I'm worried that this rolling block rifle is going to do too much damage. And maybe, uh just burn up the pelt so i'm gonna be a little careful we'll just we'll roll with the uh with the bolt action rifle and i'll roll with the express rounds in it i don't know you guys let me know if that will even really affect the, the pelt okay so we're gonna roll i think we can roll into roads and then take the train up to there is a station up here. What the hell is the name of the station? Wallace Station. Yeah, we could roll right up into Wallace Station. Yeah. Of course, I actually need some uh, some goodies. <laughs> DRV, how you doing? Should be fine with a headshot. Okay. The only issue I'm going to run into, like, is if, if, if I can snipe him from a distance and hit a headshot on him, I don't think it'll really matter, you know what I mean? But it's the fact that they're predatory animals, and there's a good chance they're going to close the distance on me, and then I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to deal with them up close and personal, which is then going to get a little messy. And uh, that's when I'm going to risk messing up the pelt. Man, I totally could have went the other way, but I'm, like, going the long way around. map marker it's gonna annoy me yeah we could use the scent block so right now we're hunting um we're gonna be hunting wolf a wolf and a cougar for our legendary 
Satchel. We almost have it complete, so we might as well finish it up. I, I, I got predator bait, so we could try baiting them out. That, that's a great idea, actually. The problem is, uh, are they going to be perfect pelts or not? Wait, that manor that burnt down is over here, isn't it? Swing by there real quick. Big Valley? Let me see. Where is Big Valley at? Is, isn't Big Valley right up here? Somewhere? I see Cumberland Forest. I see Grizzly East. So, Grizzly West. Okay. Yeah, so that's where we're headed then. Yeah, Big Valley is where I'm headed. Right, AG, thank you so much for the sub. Yeah, yeah, Big Valley is where we're going anyways. Okay. So we did, but we, oh man, we burnt this place down, dude. Some people out in the back, so we gotta be careful. Damn, was that her? That's Catherine Bra Braithwaite. Catherine's brooch. Checking the chimney. You guys know how them chimneys are. God Factory, how you doing, brother? I'm doing all right, man. I just have to kill these dudes so I can just move around without having to worry about them. Yeah, they're still guarding the property. There's guards here, they're still guarding the property. People said there was a gold bar here. I'm not... Unless I have to go up. Yeah, I always forget about Eagle Eye. I always forget about Eagle Eye. Always.
Let me put my mask on just in case I do have to shoot these guys. Sergeant Gaming, how you doing? No, don't do that. I didn't want to do it to him, guys, but it really didn't leave me much of a choice. Just trying to sneak around, keep it clean. Okay, I don't see much of it. I don't know, maybe I'm just... Did I already loot the, the gold bar, maybe? Or is it not in the burnt down mansion? Got the brooch. Yo, it does look like Mickey Wilkerson's home. Maybe it's up top. Maybe we need to just do some hardcore parkour. You guys know how it is. Nope. I see a box over there. How did I not see this shit? There it is. Gold bar, baby. Alright, now let's head out on our hunt. Okay, so we're headed up to Big Valley, but what we're going to do is we're going to ride up into roads and then we'll take a train up towards Big Valley. If 
Been a while since we've been out there, like, you know, going on a nice hunt. Get out on that open road, guys. For those of you guys just coming in, we're going to hunt a... Ooh, I forgot we had this, uh... Another stagecoach. We can rob. I hey, removed that from your face, so there will be trouble. You hear? Mm. My bad. You want paying? You get back to it. Let's see where the stagecoach is. With you in a moment. Ah, oh, good to see you. Let me write down the name of that uh. Taylor for you. I caught some reprobate. So, what are we looking at? Passenger's a wealthy merchant. Always travels with a lot of cash on him. Details on the note. Okay. Good seeing you, Alden. And you, my friend. And you. All right, let's see where this is at. Road southwest of Boulder Glades. Look for a carriage coming from the south. Passenger is a wealthy merchant. Probably uh, keeps his cash hidden. So might need some persuasion. So let's try not to kill everybody. Yeah, let's see where that is on the map. Oh, it's actually down south a little bit. So we're going to head down. We'll take care of that first. And then we'll, we'll uh, head up to Big Valley after that. Thank you. Really. Come on now, boy. Okay, so let's try to keep this as clean as possible. Stop. That's an order. You ain't welcome in this town. Not looking like that. Scram. Always messing with me. You know, I'm a, you know, I'm gonna be that we turned over new leave, guys. We'll let him we'll let it slide. Uh, what is my video bitrate uh, and internet upload speed? Do you change bitrate from game? No, I don't change, man. I just leave it whatever it is. I think my bitrate's like 15,000. God Factory. And then um, I don't know what my upload speed is, man. I, I, don't, I don't really pay attention to any of that stuff. I just went to Spectrum and was like, I need yeah. the best internet you guys offer in my area. And uh, that's what I have. But I think my bitrate's about 15,000. Because instead of adjusting my bitrate from game to game, because that would just be super frustrating and annoying, I just, uh, if I have to, I haven't had to yet, but if I have to, I lower my resolution that I'm playing in. Uh, I'll either A, not play in 4K, or I'll lower the resolution, or the gameplay graphics down to like high or something like that until it works. Doesn't seem like much of a road. Hey, boy. You know what I mean? Oh, because the road's up here. Yeah. Like, dude, this doesn't look like a road. <laughs> so they're going to be coming up towards me. How can I force it to stop? Hmm. Am I jumping on? How many guards are there? These damn roads. Fuck. I don't want to do this, guys. Because we turned over a new leaf. But I want the stagecoach to stop. Back. 
Wait, how did I kill the passenger? What the heck happened? How did that even happen, dude? I was trying to keep it clean. $12. We got a necklace, some bourbon. Oh, we got a necklace for Tilly, though. Well, I didn't shoot the lantern. The gun pierced through the... The oars. And then, uh... Which, I mean, come on. Why would it pierce through the horse? And then hit the... the it was just bad luck. Yeah. It was just bad luck. Witness murder. Okay, but it's not me that they witnessed the murder, right? Let's say I had my mask on. Crime reported. Yeah, so we're good. We're good. I mean, you guys all know it wasn't intentional. I didn't, I didn't, that's not what I wanted to happen. But sometimes what you want and what you get, completely different things, you know? Oh, let me change my clothes too, right? I think that'll help. Good. No, I don't have. I, I've never had a creator code for any game before. God Factory. Yeah, I've never. Uh, I've never had de developers give me a like a creator code or anything like that. Hey, Dev Trend and uh, Arrow. Thank you guys so much for the subs. I do appreciate it. We're going to take our train. Let me swap back into my hunting clothes. Hello. Michael B., I appreciate that. Seriously, thank you, man. Hello. Ben. All right, train tickets. Let's ah, see. Hello. Sorry. Okay. Wallace. Safe travels. Samuel with the super chat. Thank you so much. It was just a unfortunate set of events that took place there, guys. And I, I do feel really bad. I try to make it as quick as possible for the horse. Damn, I should just hit my fucking horse, dude. The train just hit my horse. <laughs> just 
try to shake it off. <laughs> Alright, so we can take this road here. Then we're gonna cut in. We'll start swooping around here. Hey there, fella. Mister? Turn here. Stay back. This here's official business. That's not what the paper says. And I ain't like to believe you anyway, boy. Jesus! Anyone! Help! I got my Lindy back at the homestead. Why would I do this, huh? This here's got nothing to do with you, and I won't warn you again. Bro, I'm just riding on this road, man. Like, don't fuck around. You're bound to get lit the hell up. Mister. You just happen to be going where I'm going. All right, I'm turning right here. Hey, partner. I should have ended him right there for pointing that gun at me, but I, as you guys knew, I tuned over a new leaf. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be like that. I'm just gonna let it slide. Easy now. Howdy, partner. Give me space, will you? Sorry, boss. Oh, still. Somebody help. Don't do it. God, help. You're okay, girl. No, I didn't kill him, guys. I I didn't do anything savage I just needed a second horse for my, our hunting and he just happened to have a horse Arrow, I appreciate it my wife's Italian good girl No, no, yeah, guys. I, what I did there was, I, I feel really, really nice, like really nice. You know what I mean? Even though I could have just got one of those free horses down there, but they weren't an option initially. So let's make sure um, I get my rifle ready. That horse just took a shit. Broaches, coaches, how you doing, brother? Step. <laughs> yeah. You know, if I can wrangle up one of these, I'll I'll release this guy's horse. Maybe I'll go back to him. See an all black right there. It's Got it. Okay. Shit. Come on. No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> Easy now. Oh, 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 
Okay, 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 okay. Ah. ah, we're friends now, girl. Gonna send it. Get. Scoop. Send him his horse back. You know what I mean? Come on, girl. There it is. Welcome to the family, son. Yeah. Bros is with the nine months at least. Hey, brother, thank you so much, man. What is my favorite show? Roaches, that's a good question, man. Um I'd have to say probably supernatural. I I, I really love me some supernatural, man. But if not supernatural, uh Game of Thrones is like one of my top shows of all time. Walking Dead, obviously. Um, Z Nation actually was a really bomb, uh, really, really bomb zombie show. Believe it or not. I know some people didn't really like it, but I loved it. And Doggy, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. What is this? Okay, we're looking at... Like a really, really big elk, didn't it? That thing is massive. There's no way that thing's that. Yeah, I was gonna say that's a three star for sure. That's a that's a nice, nice animal right there. Band of Brothers, oh man. That's definitely good, Roaches. There it is. Horse follow. Dave's Ghost, how you doing? Okay, so we're kind of skirting through this area. Trying to see if we can find ourselves a cougar and a wolf. Thank you. Sour patch. Breaking Bad was so oh man. Breaking Bad was definitely really good. Oh man. That was pretty damn sour. I'm trying to see where do you think it I'm trying to find a good spot to set up some yeah. bait. We'll have good uh, sight lines. I feel like here in this opening would probably be our best bet, right? Or should I head over maybe on this road? Yeah, I think we'll get on that road over there and I'll set a bait. Yeah. Doug with the seven months, brother. Thank you Welcome so much. Family, but Roaches, what you been getting into, brother? I need new games. We're going to set up camp over here somewhere, too. All that ranch to the right is O'Driscoll's. Hanging Dog Ranch. Yeah, we haven't been over there. It did look like a pretty big spot, too. We're going to have to check that out. Oh, 
Cody. Tronics, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome. Yeah. It's all white Appaloosa. See a lot of the, the the prey that the wolves and stuff go for. DLF, thank you for the sub. Okay, so this is the area we got attacked in by the wolf. And I see the cougar symbol over here, so. Now we just want to keep our eyes open. Snake. Okay, so I think this is a good spot up here. We can set up our predator bait. Yeah, this looks good. Yes, Doug, brother. Thank you so much for the super chat, man. I know we hit forty-one thousand sub. It's freaking unreal, man. But thank you so much for the super chat, brother. I appreciate it. We are we're on the road to fifty thousand, which is absolutely insane to even say. Never thought I would see the day. Okay, so if we're up here, yeah, we got pretty good sight lines. Hopefully, there's not a lot of traffic in this in this area. Dropped a gray wolf. Perfect pelt. Heard a cougar too. Hopefully that was the one I was hearing. Yep, 
Yes! Perfect cougar pelt. And perfect wolf pelt. Look at that, guys. That wasn't even that hard. Doug! If you remember, I told you, hey, man. It's, it's it, you know, it's one thing, though, to have people say it and hear it and, you know, and, like, because you guys are always so nice to me and you guys have more faith in me than I have in myself. So it's like, to see it actually happen, no, it's still mind-blowing, man. Welcome to the family. Son. Norman B. Gaming yeah. with us. Four months. Thank you so much. All right, let's go ahead. Stow this. Stow this. All right, then. Let me get through. Uh, dude, hold there, girl. Did she just pull a gun out on me, dude? Partner? I want to relax there, dude. You're a chump, partner. Okay, where the hell did my wolf go? There it is. Sorry, I knew there was a wolf pelt over here. Swanee, brother! Dude, that is huge, man! Rotten gray wolf, what?! Something must start must have started eating on it. God damn it. Alright, let's set up camp. We're gonna have to hunt another wolf in the morning. I left it for too long. It was only a few minutes. I missed it. Darn normal life getting in the way. $41 for 41, brother man. Swanee, I do appreciate you, man. Thank you so much, dude. Yeah, we're going to have to get another wolf in the morning. All right, let's see what we can do. Yeah, we'll stay up on these rocks here. I'll put some predator bait down here. Should be in good good shape. Should be. Congratulations. You were super lucky. Two perfect spawns together? I've never had that happen. Too bad you lost <laughs> I the know, wolf. Dude. Damn. Hope your luck holds for next one. Bomb, dude. Thank you so much for that. I really do appreciate it. That is huge. Guys, let's get some hearts in the chat for all the love. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, now watch. I'm not even going to be able to get another wolf. Somehow. A little bit of traffic on this road. But, Pom, I really do appreciate that. The same for you, Swanee. I, I do appreciate you guys. Oh, they're showing mega love. Okay, so we're going to use some predator bait. Um, I 
Let's see if this will attract some of these. All right, so we're going to head up here where our horses are, try to see if we can get some... Uh, Good sight lines on some wolfies. Here we got a wild boar. To get really a freaking boar, man. God Factory Brother, thank you so much, man. I don't know how long the bait lasts. All right, brother man. I have run out of time. Gonna surprise everyone by trying to survive some zombie challenges LMAO. Wish me and my squad skill lol. Have a great stream. Enjoy everyone. For sure, man. Hey, good luck on the challenge, brother. I appreciate everything you do for me, man. You have a good night, all right? And thank you again. Like a snake somewhere near me. Got some coyotes. We'll head a little more south, see if we can uh, maybe get lucky. Yep. Near the timber company near Strawberry? I don't, I don't know if I've done that yet. A lot of freaking uh, elk here, which is crazy because remember how much effort I put into finding elk? I went all the way up in the snow area and come to find out freaking north of Strawberry is like elk paradise. Man, there's a lot of coyotes over here. I know you guys said the wolves over near the trapper, right? That's pretty far, though. Probably got to be up on these trails here, too.
like in the actual mountains. Sam, how are you doing? Okay. So I think what we'll do is we'll ride to this point here. Actually, we'll come back up this way. We'll ride to this point and then we'll cut in, in and we'll go like through the actual mountain area. Off the beaten path. Yep. Let's see if we can actually find some uh Right now, I'm still on the main road. Come on. that um, other horses yeah we're gonna cut in this way actually tear down camp time to go boy Which way would be the best way to go? Probably down toward where the legendary buck was. Go north of the O'Driscoll's camp. Is that a wolf symbol right there, guys? I think this might be a wolf symbol right there. Yeah. That's fox? There's no way that's a fox, man. All right, we'll go check it out. And if anything, we'll set up camp up there. A lot of you guys are saying wolves are easier to find at night. So I guess we can, as dangerous as that might be. I wonder if you, there was a skunk right there. I was like, I wonder if you get sprayed by a skunk. So up now. Hey, now boy. Hey. I didn't want nothing to do with me. I'm doing just fine out here. How about you? Yeah, that cougar carcass is definitely going to be bad. But it's all right.
Means to kill. You're still alive, brother. It's a big ranch right there. Stay oh, shit, the bear. A little bit worrying, seeing as this is bear country. On an enemy gang hideout. Wow, dude, there's a lot of freaking O'Driscolls there. Is that like the main O'Driscoll camp? Is that the one that Arthur escaped from? Another bear. Oh, we got to be careful, guys. This is bear country. But I heard howl. I think I heard like far off howling. One star and a two star gray. Not what we're looking for. RDR2 is my favorite game of all time now. So, yeah, I prefer RDR2 over Witcher 3. Gotta stay, brother. Stay. Hey. Trying to see if I can get around it through any more of these guys that are just outside my line of sight. Oh yeah, RDR2 has become my favorite game, even more than The Last of Us. This game is absolutely insane. I don't, I, I don't know of another game that's you can even consider as good as this. Two star, two star, three star. Okay, which one's the three? Is it the one that's facing me or the one in the back? That one right there.
You see how there's like they're lined up. I can't tell which one it is. That's the three. So I gotta get a tiny bit closer. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a scent block. Maybe this will keep me allow me to get a tiny bit closer. Yeah, so it's definitely that one right there. That's amazing. There it is. Oh, sketch. Well, they were all low level pelts. Um, and the two that ran off, they're good. We got what we needed, though. We got a three. And those other two pelts, they're just meh. Get my horses over here, though. exactly what we needed. Pretty sure this cougar pelt is probably trash, though. Or the cougar um, body. Mm, it's still not rotten. Okay. Let's go, boy. We'll bring these down to the... Uh, Yeah, we'll bring him down to the trapper. And then uh, I'll take the rig station train back over to San, San Denis, and then I'll go turn in these. Yeah. There's no other legendaries over here, right? I don't believe so. Mm -mm. There's a trapper closer on the far west road. Where at? Did I just not discover him yet or something? One right over here somewhere? Or is it down like this way? I didn't even know there was a uh, trapper over here. So it's over here somewhere. But we'll check like right there. Yeah, I'm giving the pelts to Pearson for sure, but I'm gonna sell the the carcasses. Um, here, palm. Just for some extra cash. Because they're going to rot by the time I get them back to camp anyways. I don't know why the map shakes. It's so weird. It's so weird. Because I don't see it. it. It's only like that for you guys. <laughs> but 
bomb. Thank you so much for the super Give chat. I do appreciate it. See, now there's wolves everywhere. Damn it, my other horse. Oh, screw it. Just had a cougar body on it. Honestly, at this point, I could just go back to frickin' Strawberry and... Take the train back to... Or the, uh... What is it? Not a train. They have a... The wagon there. Yeah, the coach. That's, that's what it is. There's a trapper. Yeah. Look no yeah, this is story mode. That's seven cross for a while, eh? Good to see you. So, buying or selling? Uh, you want right, to buy this carcass? Then these two are going back to camp. A wolf heart. Done. Been a pleasure doing business with you. Well, thank you. It's a pretty off, odd spot for a trapper, you know what I mean? Like, you really got to be walking the edge of the map in order to find it. Ride right in the strawberry, take the, uh, the coach. I also got that necklace for Tilly now. Woo! Thirteen hundred. What? They got you in San Denis? Oh man, yo, they got me last episode, dude. It was terrible. Oh, easy, boy. oh it was so terrible. I need to get the. I, I, they took eight hundred from me. I didn't lose thirteen, dude. Oh man. And guys, I want to thank you all for over two hundred likes on the stream. I really do appreciate it. Got my ass good, man. So much money. I haven't. I don't think so, Empathetic. I got a, uh, another wagon here in Strawberry. We got to remember that. You know, let me just grab it now. We'll just grab it while we're here. Well, a stagecoach right here.
Forgive me, officer. Hey there. You Hector? That's me. Alden tells me you're a discouraged man. Ah, you must be a friend of that Josiah Trelawney. All right, in that case, I've got something here you might want to take a look at. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they only, I, I can't believe they only want two dollars. I don't know how to find the veteran. How do I find him? Do you got to be in a certain chapter? There's a stage heading up from Blackwater. Mm. Now, I hear it'll be heavily guarded, so you might want to try a more covert approach. I could do that. Lay down some explosives. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're the expert. Thank you, Hector. Appreciate it. You enjoy the rest of your day. Co right. Covert is my middle name. You know? Okay, fella. Let me see. All right, let's see if we got to go set up. Okay, awesome. Yeah, we should be able to set up a pretty nice ambush here. Ain't you a problem, hey. <laughs> Legendary Drill, how you doing? I don't I don't think I've done a serial killer quest line. No, that sounds epic. You're not talking about me being a serial killer, right? Cuz I'm not a serial. I haven't killed anybody in this game really. Not you know, outside of self-defense. Gotta find the clues. I found the vampire. Yep. Gotta be careful. We're wanted dead or alive. Down in that region. Wayne, how you doing? Hey, relax, horse. Why? You think I'd really walk you over the edge, dude? That's good to hear, Wayne. That's good to hear, brother. I will be trying out online. Yep. As long as I don't get stream sniped too bad.
Yeah, I'm turning my pelts in, yeah. This coach at? Covert A fuck guys. Covert AF. That's what we do. All right, let's see how much money. Hundred bucks, not bad. Platinum belt buckle, nice. That's a good point. Should we sell this wagon? It's gonna get, we're gonna net forty from it. Uh yeah, it, it's Emerald State. It's it, Emerald Station is just too far away. It's not even worth the forty. We'll spend forty dollars in gas just getting over there. These yep. damn gas prices. We'll definitely spend forty dollars in gas. Just going to Emerald. Yep. <laughs> it's not that much in gas these days. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, we're gonna head up to Riggs. I played a little bit of GTA 5 online like a really long time ago and um it, it, I logged in, I started doing the little beginner missions there and it was cool, you know, I'm like working with uh what's his name? Um Franklin's friend there, Lamar. You know, you're doing some missions with him and you're like, you know, doing the whole little drug thing and stuff and I was like, "Yo, this is really really cool." Cuz I didn't know I didn't know that online even had like a story like that. I did a couple missions with Franklin, then it kind of got like disjointed and it was kind of, it felt like it was a little more all over the place. Um, and, and the story wasn't as like, you know, put together as I thought it was. It kind of just boom, like spread out all over the place. And then uh, I must have got into the part where like all the, the players were just everywhere and I had this guy and like a fucking helicopter just like mow me down. And I'm like, okay. And then I, I spawned back in. I, you know, I went to the shop. I got my car all fixed up. Uh, I had the same little like charger that Franklin has. Um, and then some guy just came and shot fucking helicopter rockets at me. And I was just like, dude, what the fuck is going on, man? Like, is, is this just like, the way to play this game is you either have a tank, a helicopter, or a jet, and you just run or fly around the map blowing everybody up. 
And then I remember my little brother hit me up. He was doing a mission on GTA Online. And uh, he was like, bro, can you come help me? And I was like, for what? And uh, he said that, I guess there's some mission where you try to set up a club. I don't know. This is what my brother told me. I guess there's a mission where you can, like, set up a club and you have to go steal, like, a sound van, I think he said, and or, like, a speaker system or something. He said it was, like, this big trailer thing that he had to steal. And, had, and he said that every time he tried to do it, people would be flying around and just shooting rockets at him. Like RPGs, or they would be doing it from helicopter. He's like, dude, it's fucking impossible for me to complete this mission. Can you come help? And I was just like, no, here nice. I don't Some got the game sleazy. installed. Just don't ask questions, especially if they come through to just pay off a bounty. All right, so we're going to go to Sandy. Traveling mercies to you. Yeah, and he said that, he, but I, I, I didn't have the game installed, so I couldn't help him. But he, he was fuming. <laughs> so Franklin said, yep, sounds about right. People in RDR2 are typically nicer, but there's still someone who will tie you up on repeat <laughs> and leave you face down in the lake. Dude. GTA 5 uh, basically teaches you that money equals power. This is for how you doing? Hey, man, thank you for reminding me, bro. I definitely need to take a sip of this water. Yeah, my, my thing is if I'm playing if I'm playing RDR two online, it, it it's gonna have to be on site, guys. Like, I don't see how else it would work. Like, legitimately, any player that I seen, I would have to kill him on site. Because if not, then I'm going to end up killed. Like, you know what I mean? GTA Online is on site. <laughs> Yo, what is my horse doing, dude? Why is my horse getting farther away from me, dude? That's enough lingering. Move along. Brother, relax. I'm trying to get my goddamn horse. He's just off doing his own thing. He just decided... <laughs> My horse caught the train, dude, for real. <laughs> oh, see, so Grant says everyone isn't shown on the map because that's the problem with GTA, or at least when I played, is you could just bring the map up, dude, and you could just see where everyone was and just go there and kill them. And I was like, yo, this is so unfair. So in RDR2 online, is it is it you can't see everybody on the map? And if that's the case, then that means I you can play the game a little bit, which is awesome. It's a radius. Why are you doing that? You only see red players. So players who are pretty much killing people point? on site, you could see them. <laughs> you know what would be cool? 
is like if I could be like a like a bounty hunter on Red Dead Online and just go around and like capture players who have bounties on them, or do players not have bounties on them online? Hey you! I recognize you. Who? Oh, you don't recognize me, partner. You're one of the fellas from the riverboat, ain't hey. you? Hey. Kill all those people and for hey. what? Hey. A few dollars? Life that cheap, cheap. Who is it? Damn you for poor. Damn it. No, guy, it wasn't. It wasn't on purpose. I had a. Yeah. Stop and stay shit. How did this happen, dude? Dude, I don't even know what happened. The guy recognized me, so I think. Oh, well. Gotta go, gotta go. We'll pop. Yeah, we'll pop that. Um. Pop that. Thank you for the sub. So that went a little worse than it could have. There we go. So that happened. Um, yeah. My oh my, ain't life grand? Well, it is. Trust me on that one. It is. Old Micah Bell told me that was my daddy. Micah Bell, like his daddy too. A pair of wild horses they was. Father and son. And then me. At one point, my daddy was wanted for murder in five counties. Five! Mike, thank you for the sub. Never did suffer fools. Damn near killed my brother Lucifer, one time. Lucifer, brother, thank you so much for the super but chat. 
My brother always put a bullet in it's what I do. No, it's and not, cow. Lucifer. Yella is pissed on snow. Never could stand him. <laughs> Nor his wife. Lives over in California by the sea. Pathetic. What kind of a man lives by the sea, I ask you? Hmm? We live by the sea right now. Huh? Huh? Kind of man that gets told where to live by his wife. <laughs> Ain't no woman never told me nothing apart from make yourself scarce. And that suits me about fine. Mr. Bell, why don't you get up and do something? You're always telling us to. Really, bro? I sat down for two fucking seconds. Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. See. How are you on space in that bag of yours, Mr. Morgan? Here it is. So you know you Legends new. of the East Satchel. We got it, guys. So we have all the satchels made. You know, Arthur, I can always make you a new satchel if you're tied on space. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some sleep. And then in the morning, I might head into town really quick and pay off my bounty. Because uh, I have a huge bounty right now. And I can't do... I, I You know, if, if a mission brings me into San Denis, I don't want to worry about... I don't want to have to worry about my bounty. So we're going to go get that cleaned up in the morning. Can't believe that happened though. I should have just I thought he was gonna run and report me that guy. I should I should have just punched him in the mouth or something. Shooting in the middle of a city is, I guess, never a good idea. Dude, why can't I access my bed? I'll sleep till the morning. Uh, you ever used a lantern before? Yeah, I used it like once or twice. Uh, Carlos, we've been at this campsite for a couple episodes now, I, I want to say. Alright, we'll give Tilly her necklace if we can find her around the camp. And then we'll go pay off this bounty, come back, and we'll start working with Sadie. Yeah, I got the pirate hat. I'm using the Turco main. That is my main horse. I got it from the Braithwaite Manor. Morning, Arthur. Morning, Tilly. How are you today, You Arthur? recovered? I'll be fine. Thank you, Arthur. Of course. Just glad you're okay. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right, Arthur. I gave it to her. She didn't even say thank you. 
All right, let's go clean up this bounty really quick before we try to do any this mission. But yeah, this is my main horse right here. I got a turco main. Should clean it. Welcome to the family, son. Lady Ow. X with the eight months. Yeah. Shooting in the city is never a good idea, bro. I'm telling you, it's not. I don't know why I did. But now that I got that new satchel, I should be able to hold a ton of stuff, right? All right let's get up here. Where is the closest fence to um, Saint Denis? Is there one in Saint Denis? Yeah, there's a fence right there. Yeah, he had. I remember he had uh, the illegals in his basement that they kidnapped. Super messed up. Yeah, they like illegally kidnapped people and had them in the basement or something like that. I don't remember. Were they? They were. I, I don't remember. Were they? Were they Native American? They were either. They were either Hispanic or Native American. I can't remember. But yeah. Hey, Mister, can you help me? Please help me. My damn. My dad on me and my legs are hurting and I need to get home. But yeah, I remember the fence. Yeah, he had him in the the freaking basement. All right, hopefully they'll let us pay our bounty. Animal cruelty? I didn't do that! Yo, this game, man, is fucking setting me up, bro! I was framed! I'm gonna kill somebody, dude. What's the point of turning over a new leaf when you get blamed for shit? What, did I drop the fucking horse from the sky? Like, doesn't make any sense! You motherfucker, dude, don't oh, do it, bro. Shit. Come on. Time to go, boy. Good morning, park guy. <laughs> Something wrong or what? Good morning. Why does it just feel like it feels like mayhem right now? You're back. What can I do for you? That's quite a sum. I hope you learned your lesson. Oh, man. When it, when it rains, it pours, doesn't it? When it rains, it pours. I <laughs> saw for shooting that horse earlier. Don't, please take a pamphlet. It might just change your life. Good morning, partner. Read one of my pamphlets. I explain the exact difference between the races using real science. I want you to ask yourself do I consider myself? Pure. And then I want you to ask yourself, 
What is the most disgusting, revolting, vulgar, and depressing thing in all creation? Mingling. Co-mingling. Nature? Nature likes purity. Nature does not like co-mingling. Nature likes a family tree, not a family bush. And this being America, uh, what? this being nature's paradise on Earth, we must push for purity. I want you, I need you, to be pure. Yeah. Uh. Oh, shit. If I were you, I'd shut up. You, sir, do you want a pamphlet? Oh, man. Well, that's over. No, you pathetic moron. Moron? These are facts. I bet you imagine a world where your grandchildren are subservient to monkeys. You're pathetic. Nothing. I didn't do anything. Thank you so much for the sub. I can't read it. Arbok, I really appreciate it. All right, so we're going to head back. We're going to do a mission for Sadie Adler. Yeah, I was able to murder that dude, right? And I didn't even get a witness. Like, it makes no sense. I fucking am walking down the road, and horses are literally falling out of the sky. And I get in trouble. Makes no sense. Yep. Yo, I'm kind of excited though about the Sadie mission. Sadie is super savage. Nah, so starting right now, guys, from this moment right now, we're going to turn over a new leaf. Things got a little murky, but I've seen the light, and um, I'm trying to come back over to the other side of goodness. The Southern Gamer, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. Yeah, you know, so... I feel like right now, now is a good time to turn over that leaf, you know? <laughs> was that a gate? I, I, I thought it was a rock. I'm surprised my horse didn't toss me. Tahiti. Short. Tahiti. I've never been to Tahiti. I've been to Bali and Java. There is a man there with a body no bigger than a coconut. Speak seven like How you doing, Mrs. Here Adam? we go. How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williams Great, and how you doing? party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? 
Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on. We need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. <laughs> yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Lenny! Might... Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. Lenny! What is that? What the hell have they done to me? Look, they in the tree line. What the fuck? Everybody take cover! Oh, shit! Lady! A lot of bullets coming right there. windows over there. Charles, you take the side doors there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go!
said is everyone accounted for? I don't know. I think. Sadie, I gotta go help her. Cover me. Look what we got here. One of their whores. Shit. I got you. Go find her. Hold on, girl. Get inside! And miss all this? Come on, Arthur! Now we go back. We need you in the house, Mrs. Adler! Oh, no, they don't! Put another one in us! Shit! We need somewhere to dock this boat! Over there! They're in a skiff! Katie! Okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Yeah. Homo Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Well. That was rough. That was rough. So let me let me wait for the night time, all right? Uh, uh, we're gonna go press wait for night because I wanna I wanna work on the mayor missions. And those are only available, I believe, at night. So let's go uh rest up. We'll head into the mayor's at night. I can't believe those pigs did that to him. He was such a gentle soul. Yeah, he saved my life one time. I'll miss him. You make the bastards pay, Arthur. If yep. we All get right. the chance, we surely shall. You, you gonna let me in? No. Okay. Yeah. So that this what we're, day. This what we're doing, guys. Damn it, Pearson. Yeah. You know Hello. what? Hello. How you doing? Fuck okay. it. Yep. Sure, guys. I'll wait for you. Come on. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Oh, 
Well, John is mourning for Kieran. Make fun of his clothes. I can't make fun of John. I don't even see where John is, unless he's inside. You, uh, you gonna sit? So, no more Kieran. No. I was just starting to like him, too. I don't know. You doing all right? Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Yeah, I'm doing yeah. better. So, what now? We need to start learning from our mistakes. I uh, know. There was me thinking we were a step ahead of the O'Driscolls. I was almost starting to like that Kieran. And he saved your life. I know. All right, well, I should be getting on. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it was a rough way for him to go, too, you know what I mean? You okay, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, O'Driscolls, oh, Pinkertons, is there anybody who doesn't know where we are at this point? <sighs> I don't know what to tell you. You okay? Yes. Just thinking about Karen. Guess uh, he was always living on borrowed time. Maybe. You all right? Yeah, that was quite a mess to clean up. Yeah, in every sense. Maybe anyway, I won't disturb you. All right. Let's see what this day brings. You doing all right, Abigail? I still can't believe that happened to Karen. Yeah, bad business, all right. Well, I should get back to it. I guess. Uh, I don't. So I don't know what, where we're going after this. I, I know they said something about getting money and moving to fucking Tahiti or whatever. Molly. It'll be okay, Molly. Okay. How is any of this okay? Karen and Sean are dead. Dutch is hardly speaking to me. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, well, let's talk more later. I need to be alone. Oh, she's going through it. All right, so we're passing until night. Jack. You okay, Jack? I'm scared, Uncle Arthur. Gonna be okay, kid. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Yeah, sure. All right, so we're gonna pass until night, and then we'll head into town, and we'll do the we're gonna do the mission with the mayor. I don't know how many side quests the mayor has. Uh. God damn, it's dark. <laughs> I can't see a goddamn thing. Am I doing 100? No, I'm not doing 100% Creighton. I will be doing every mission possible for the most part. But like like achievements and, um, you know, like the super, super completionist stuff, I probably won't get around to. We're going to play this and then we're going to play a little bit of Red Dead Online. And then I actually want to do a playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 1.
What? Okay, let me see. Yep, there's the mayor's house. Head up there and do these. Ain't you? May well be. What well, cargo y'all trying to move on out of here? Look, it's only food for my people. <laughs> oh, damn it all. Guess they got what was coming to them. Jesus. We're not even going to talk about it. You're welcome, partner. So Shadow, I, I don't have like a necessary like yeah. range that I'm aiming for. You know, I'm not I'm not aiming for any specific honor finish. I'm just kind of reacting how I react in the situation. You know, I'm not like overly trying to be nice or overly trying to be evil. We're just how I feel in the moment. And there it is. Hey, so we're doing more main missions. The thing is, is I don't want to. I know the game is chapter based and a lot of side quests are based on chapters. So say I don't do the mayor's side quests right now and I advanced into chapter five and then these won't be available to me in the next chapter. You know what I mean? So I, I want to make sure I do all side quests available in their respective chapters uh, before progressing the main story. On the back, I think. Yes. Uh, I'm. Um. Uh, uh. Sorry. I'm looking for um, the mayor. Yes, please, uh, Mr. Kilgore, or what was it? Um, I forget. Quite. Welcome to government. <laughs> Democracy. An interesting idea. Monsieur Lemieux? Come in. Oh, hello, friend. Hello. Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, really? Okay. Now, you are not going to rob me again, are you? No. I, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people who want to speak to you, Mr. Tacitus. I know. They won't hear anything about you from me. 
but. Oh, yeah, there's always a but. Of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. We are not savages, merely Frenchmen. Don't be ridiculous killing. Oh, dear. Terrifying, yes. I suppose I can do that almost as well as kill. I'm sure you can. Now, it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major museum, a place of culture to elevate people's souls. See, this is what we need to do, guys. And what do museums need? This feeds into us turning art. over that new leaf. And how do you buy art? I don't know. I buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Ouch. Ouch indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference, and I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. So? So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Arthur, oh, I mean Mr. Tacitus, to meet a little Professor Shitface and have a word with him. Saint-Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Bonne chance. Mm. Come, sir, if you don't mind. The gallery is just at the end of this avenue. As I said, he is a beastly man, this professor. Believe me, friend, you ain't seen beastly yet. Not even close. Speed up a little, please. You know, I thought we're riding in style now. Americans, but no, an overeducated American can be far, far worse. Well, luckily, there ain't too many overeducated Americans around. Yes, indeed. The mayor had such grand plans for our city and its people. We shall have true liberal democracy, working for the rich and the poor alike. It would be a travesty for this one man's opinion. <laughs> Put that into jeopardy. Opinions can change, can they not? Oh, they change all the time. Of course. The power of reason is not to be underestimated. Reason. Well, that's one word for it. Good, good. You do not look so much like a rhetorician, but uh, Monsieur Lemieux has placed his faith in you. Yeah. Go to the right up here. He put his faith in, 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 in the right person. The gallery is just up ahead. There, Mr. Arthur, there! Oh, what's his name again? Professor Shiftaker. Make sure we just got our fists. Tariq, how you doing? findings in there the mayor knows very well what i found every painting was a brazen fraud <laughs> that's a big claim one that's going to upset a lot of people myself included i'm afraid that's just hard cheese mm. now i've got a train to catch back to new haven hold on i see it's going to take a fist in your face to persuade you oh oh wait wait no, partner. I gotta punch you to change your mind. I couldn't. My reputation. Yeah. Huh? Ah, oh, partner. Ah, partner. How about your reputation now? I'd never be published again. Get on away from me. I relent. Huh? <laughs> There. You see, Professor? 
An academic huh? reputation is really far less important than a broken nose. Yes, sir. I, 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 I see that now. The thing is, now people are going to look at those paintings and love them. So you're helping people, I, really. I, you know I'm right, Professor. Please do not get me upset with you no, again. No, 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 sir. You're right. You're very, very right. So you're going to send the mayor what he needs. Um... Because otherwise, I'll be in New Haven. No, no. We don't want that. Of course uh, we I'll don't. I'll write my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. Very good. There it is. We did good. We did good. I didn't have to kill anybody. It's always a good day. Good morning. So, turns out, all those pains were real after all. <sighs> Problem solved. Wonderful, wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Sure. Was uh, Professor Shiftaker happy to change his mind? He wasn't initially, but uh, <laughs> he came around in the end. Uh -oh. I love the way well, Arthur explains stuff, right. guys. He's Trust so me, good. I've done much worse. We shall burn in hell for this. Here's open. Yeah. The mayor asked me to give you this. Mm, thank you. No, guys, I've turned over a new leaf. There will be no more senseless killing. It's, it's just not my style. So if I wait until nighttime, do you think I'll get another mission from the mayor? We're going to have to, like, my, my new leaf is so turned over, guys, that we're going to have, like, I'm going to have to make a t-shirt. Okay, fella. I'm going to have to make a t-shirt wow. to show you guys how dedicated I am to this, this new leaf that I turned over. Like hey, Lucifer, no, dude, it's not what I do, man. <laughs> I would never. Welcome back. Everyone's alive. Uh, wh what can I do for you? All right. No, 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 no. It was a slip of the tongue. I didn't actually mean it. Hey, friend. All right. So we're going to wait until nighttime again. I want to see if there's a mission for the mayor. That wasn't too bad. That was just some... Some simple strong arm and on a like the like the mayor, you know, and his group of people, they're not they're not ready for somebody so rough around the edges. Oh, you have to get a letter from the mayor? Gotcha. Gotcha. So Well it does say I, I got mail. I can see you following me. Naughty boy. Lies. Look at the game setting me up, guys. I'm not doing any of that. Here we go. Battle if I did graze dog meat. With the first bullet. Hey boy. Naughty boy. See, the good thing about old leaves, right? Because I turned over a new leaf, you know? So the thing about old leaves is they dry up and they get really, really brittle and they crumble into almost dust. So we got a lot of room in our bag for leaves. Hold on, where was that? 
Where was that alleyway? Right on this other side. I want to go see if the assholes that stole my money are over there. Is that him? Is that him? Doesn't seem like poor guy. Hey, y'all shouldn't stand over there. It's not good. You might get mistaken identity. What's the meaning of this? Right over. Okay. What can I do for you? I uh, want to receive my mail. Okay, so what is this letter? And half the proceeds are mine. Folks seem to be running from their problems. I see it every day. Okay, so how much did it say? How much money I got from that? I wasn't paid. Was that like four hundred dollars? Three, four hundred dollars? Three fifty. Hey, man, that that's not bad. That's not bad at all. All right, so what we'll do is uh, we'll go camp out. I'll wait until the morning, see if I receive another letter, and if not, then we'll uh, go link up with Dutch, see what he wants to do. I'm trying, bro. I'm trying to be a hero. for my gratitude please you had your fun let me loose appreciate it you be careful now you cock sucking bastard sound and ease breeds sickness so much for the future i was a hero guys I'm a hero. God damn it. Comfortable enough for you? You're gonna be a mess to clean up. Come on, dude. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Kid Kidnapping. I can't do anything fucking now right. It, oh, 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 oh. Out of the way! What did I do? He was a criminal! I was
Rest. Come on, just don't do it. Mister? Mister? No. No! <laughs> he's just, he's knocked out. That's it, guys. He's a little knocked out. Get on there. He's just knocked out. He's just sleeping. Shit. Oh, shit. Come on. Oh, God, no. You just made an enemy for life. Move and I put you down for good. You keep moving, I'll have to burn you down. Oh, 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 okay, boy. Shh. Son of a bitch. Two down. Don't you lose the cut, man. Oh, I don't want to do it, dude. Please leave me alone, officer. Officer, leave me alone. Skippy, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, I, so I got this handgun from Saint Denis. Once you hit chapter four and you go to the the main gun store in the city right here um once you're in chapter four and you go to this gun store you can just buy it it's just available All right, partner. Well, here we go. We're gonna take you out. Wanted to take you out to see the flowers. I feel like this is a good spot. Carol would approve. It's, the, it's time for the flowers. Look at the flowers, partner. Look at the flowers, partner! No! Look at the flowers! Not at me. Watch your damn step. Damn it all! Look at the flowers, bud. There it is. Justice. Justice. Now I gotta go pay off my bounty again. He robbed, um, he was, he was about to kill somebody. And I, 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 I was a hero. Uh, guys, I was a hero. See? I was, now all the other stuff that happened to get to this point. That was just unfortunate, but I got to be the hero this time. I handed out some some swift justice. See, I yeah, there was no bounty, but you know. I'm that good of a guy that I didn't need a bounty to hand. That was I. I was I gave that. That was free justice that I handed out right there. I didn't. I didn't require payment for that justice. We're gonna. We're. We're, we're gonna be a hero. We're saving people. Like Sam and Dean. And I even brought him out to a Look nice out. spot. You know? The, oh, the dude did pay me, but he didn't pay me for the bounty. He just paid me for saving his life. You know what I mean?
find the night folk yet? Um, I found a vampire. I don't know what the night folk are, though. Let's go pay off this bounty. What are the night folk? Okay, so I Happy to assist you in a moment. Nothing like a fresh start. Folk Hello. in a swamp. All right, they were good to go. Our, our bounty's been paid off. We could start our lives. All right, we could start our lives over right now as a hero. Let's go see what Dutch wants. It is it is refreshing, guys, to like be a hero, saving people. Like, feels so much better than like robbing people. Wait, wait on the Dutch mission? Well, what else would I do? There's no other mission. Is the hardest part of YouTube uh, streaming besides the obvious such cons Um, so Shadow, I mean, really the, the hardest part about YouTube is, uh... Come on, get clear. Uh, you gotta have thick skin. You know what I mean? Because people are gonna say a lot of shit. People are gonna talk a lot of shit. Um, you know what I mean? We could go catch a legendary fish, actually, Caspi. Good... Good call there, brother. There was this one up here I wanted to go nab. Uh, where the hell is it? It, it was like a sturgeon looking. Yep, right here. And it was I knew it was real close to camp. Um and the uh, the station is right there too. Um but yeah, people's it's rough, man. You know, you get but I, I have thick skin from when I was in the military, so people saying stuff like that doesn't really bother me, but um Honestly, just trying to stay fresh, you know, and like stay creative, I think is the hardest thing when it comes to trying to be a YouTuber because you gotta, you gotta be able to read a room, you know, you, you get stuck in a rut and I've done it plenty of times. I know plenty of other content creators that, uh, you know, you, you, you get comfortable, you're doing the same thing over and over and over again. And uh, for example, for me, I was playing State of Decay 2 that's what I started my channel on, and uh, everything else I was, wasn't really getting much traction with, so uh, that's all I did. I just would play State of Decay every single day, day in and day out, and there was no creativity there. I would try to do new things with it, but eventually, you know, you're kind of just doing the same thing over and over again, so it's, it's connecting with your audience and trying to find out how you can stay fresh and do new things but then also still stay engaged with your followers and your friends and stuff like that because for instance if i might want to play a, a game but you know my state of decay viewers might not want anything to do with that game you know so it's, it's it really is tough it really is tough uh, let's go catch this fish real quick and then uh i'll do the dutch mission after that But it's a grind, man. Um, you definitely got to understand there's nothing easy about YouTube. Um, it's not easy money. It's not even good money. Uh, and it, I work a lot of hours. 
more hours than I ever did when I was a full-time employee, like truck truck driver, tr uh, you know, CDL. Um, my time in the military, I work more now than I uh, I ever have in my entire life. So it's it's tough. So I want to see if we can get this legendary sturgeon. So I would need. Is this, would this be a special swamp? You think? Okay. I would fish right off those tracks right there. Bill, thank you so much for the sub, brother. I appreciate it. Is it is it would this be considered lake or river or swamp? There it is. I'm fishing. Got some. There it is, baby. I don't know if this is what we want. I want to snap the line. Uh. This thing's going to run my freaking. I'm going to be fighting this fish for like 30 minutes, dude. But Shadow Place, I appreciate that. Seriously, thank you. I don't know. I wouldn't say my voice. I, my, my The thing is, is I listen back to my streams sometimes, uh, especially toward the end of my streams to if I'm starting like a Red Dead video or a stream, I'll be like, oh, you know, where did I leave off? Where do I want to pick up? And I hear my own voice and I'm just like, Ugh. I can't stand the way I talk. It's so annoying. Here we go. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Yo, this has to be a legendary. First of all, you see how big it is? No, but I do appreciate all the love, you know, and, and honestly, I, I, I got lucky. You know, I, I literally have the best people in the world, like, here at my channel. Like, I literally, there's... There is no, like, all, all the good people in the YouTube community are right here. The best people, you know what I mean? And it, it that's the, the hardest part, you know, it's just, you guys, you guys honestly make the channel the channel, you know? I'm just kind of here playing video games, but it's, it's all of you guys, literally, that you, you're all so amazing and you're so nice to each other, you know, you've, you guys have all created this community. There we go. There we go. This is it. There it is. Please be the look at you. I don't even know. That's a monster fish, though. Is that it? That's not even the legendary, is it? Is that? That's a big ass fish, though. Is that, is that not it? It wasn't even it. That was just a long nose gar, dude. <laughs> yeah, I played Outland Ring on the channel. That wasn't even it. Come on. That's, that was just a normal fish. 
I need a river lure. So this said river when I walked up to it. Oh, uh, let me see. Special. I got I got all three of them, so it doesn't matter to me. Stand on the bridge. I just don't want to get whacked by a train. <laughs> That's my only the only thing I'm worried about. Getting whacked by a train. Cause I was like, yo, standing up here would be the best spot. You're gonna make me cry, bro. I love you, brother. You're a legend and a savage and <laughs> humble. Cool, stay hydrated at Brian. Lucifer, brother, I really appreciate that, man. Seriously, thank you. All right, cool. Let me see. So this is probably a good spot at any, right? I'm just standing at the edge here. Maybe I won't get whacked by a train. All right. Well, I just don't want to get, like, what if I have the fish on my line, right? Like, oh, man. Yeah, you can track where the fish are. I personally don't use it. Okay. Um... Because it kind of takes the sport out of fishing. So I don't use eagle eye. I just I just fish for real. Here we go. There it is. We got something. Okay. Ooh. Let's put a lot of pressure on my line right there. Oh my god, dude, we got a shark on the other line. Did you see how big the the tail Easy was? Does it. Easy. There's a goddamn shark on the other line on the end of the line. Well, he's running my line all the way out. It says my spool is out of line. This is hard. Cause you don't wanna That's it. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Shit, Shit, God go. damn it. thing Oh, oh my god, god, dude. Damn. That shit is hard, man. I'm just gonna have to. Yeah, we're. 
That I was yeah, I was using R to, to reel faster, but that was as fast as Arthur wanted to to do. We're doing the Dutch mission after I catch this damn fish. Hey Lewis, thank you so much for the sub, I appreciate it. There we go. Oh, come here. Gave him some slack there. Yeah, this this one you gotta take your time with for for real. You try to rush it even a little bit, and boom, you, you your line snapped. The problem is he runs. He's running my spool out, and that's how he's snapping my line uh, the last time. Oh, you kidding me. He's just getting so far away. It, it, it really it takes skill. It definitely takes skill. You got to know how to uh, how to. Okay. Try a shorter cat. Yo, that would be smart too if I could get my line in a little faster. Like right there. Start off closer, you know what I mean? Uh -uh. Yo, on a boat would be clutch. Yeah, if I had a. I do got a boat at camp, I think. Yeah, if I was on the boat, that'd be super clutch. Okay, now I got him way closer. Welcome to the family, son. What? Come on, baby. Come on. There it is. Mm. Yep. Yep. Come on. Gotta get tired. Gotta get tired. Shouldn't have to worry about him running my line out, though. Mm. 
Maybe, maybe, dude. He's, he's. This fish is no joke. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. Fried too much. Why? You, you gotta be getting tired, bro. You gotta be getting tired. There we go. We got him. We got him. We got him. There it is. Whew. Oh, oh, you are one fine fish, my friend. That thing is prehistoric, baby. That is crazy. 46 pounds. Afraid you're staying with me. 46 pounds. I think we're hot. We're too hot. Get over to my house, my horse. I guess this jacket's considered a uh, hot weather or cold weather thing. I did not know that. Of course, my horse took a shit. Come on, pal. Go ahead and swap over to this. Oh, I gotta go Jeez. slower. Whoa. I'm gonna swap over to this. Yep, there we go. Actually, you know what? We're gonna be operating in San Denis, so we can throw our nice clothes on. There we go. Have us looking nice and sharp. That was a good that was a good fish. That was definitely fun. The world record sturgeon is 3463 pounds, really? That's absolutely insanity. Like if I were to see a fish even this big, I wouldn't be in the water. Even though sturgeon, they, I don't know, they look scary, but I'm pretty sure they're not all that aggressive. What do you want? Hey, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to mail out this fish. Welcome back. Good to see you again. You got postage? It all set to go? Cost me five dollars to send out that fish, man. <laughs> Come on now, boy. <laughs> he charged me! Hey there. So now we gotta pay attention to that. We gotta make sure that the amount they sent us for the fish significantly covers that five dollar loss. Okay, so let me see here. I don't know where we got to link up with Dutch. Is that him right there? I think that's him right there. Denny! No way he would have gone back to calm of his own volition. There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're huh. late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. 
We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. <laughs> Tahitians. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Oh, fuck. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Mr. S, leave these fine folks of their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this one dying. That's your choice. Okay, give me everything you got. Quick. Okay. Let my Fine, it's yours. Hey, these people are like not giving us a lot of money, I Dutch. Said, open the gates and let my hand over all your money now. There's, there's of course. Nothing left here. Of course, of what? Just there's it. nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. I'm telling you that Bronte Get dude sold us so he set us up, man. All of you. Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. No Man, way, we dude. That's greasy son of a bitch. He set us up. You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something. The trolley. The trolley. Follow me, gentlemen. <laughs> Go now. Set us up. I, I knew it, man. Go to I hope so. Oh, what? Rush some space, boys. Look out on the right. Shit, we got some in those alleyways, Arthur. Up on that balcony. That bastard must have called in every cop in the city. We got some riders on the left. Arthur, help Lenny out there. Kid, you okay? Dude, we want a dead or alive, brother. Bronte is gonna pay for this. It's all over. Oh damn, we are really moving here. Arthur, slow us down. Slow this thing down. I'll try. This broke. The thing's broke. Oh shit. <laughs> Okay, this seems like an epic fucking fail, dude. Watch out! That's the... On the balcony here! Damn it! Ah! 
Damn, let me let her let her <laughs> by Bronte's house on the way out. Man. 
We can't even go back in that city. Dead or alive? That's the new Blackwater. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Yeah, we each got... Fifteen dollars. Oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. <laughs> he set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us? What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So... What are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that, especially after that. Don't forget the quarter. I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. Fifteen dollars. That was rough, guys. That was real rough. I can't. Yo, let me. Oh, so let me check the map. Yeah, yo, we're screwed. We can't even go into the city anymore. Am I wanted in the whole state, dead or alive? Or just the city? Oh, man. I'm in the... Oh, man. That means I'm at bounty hunters coming after me left and right. Uh, can you even pay off a dead or alive bounty? We are running out of places to hide, man. Only through the story. This just might be a story thing. Uh, I'm worried about walking or going around the state like this, though. We'll, we'll, we'll head up to Rhodes. We'll, we'll, we'll see what the, how things look. Cause, I mean, I don't know if it's... Do they know it was Arthur Morgan? This is the question. I want to see what our bounty looks like. Yep. Rhodes has a fence, too, we can sell to. Woo! Got a bounty here, too. Or is that 165 my bounty across the whole state? Go on, back to what I pay you for. 
Welcome back. Good lord. It can't be worth it. Oh, it's just 165. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Oh, we're good. We're good, guys. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We clean that up easy. Farewell. Our clothes are a little dirty, but... There's a fence up here we're going to go hit really quick. Minus the 15 bucks, yeah. The haul was totally worth it, right? Yeah. Been a minute. Sift through, see what you like. All right, what do you have for me? All right, let me see here. Not bad, this. Had two gold nuggets, actually. No questions asked. Native American ring? Seems pretty unique. Ain't this special, huh? Not the first time. Mm -hmm. Much appreciated. Lightens my load. Thanks for your assistance. No, we're doing we're we're doing good. We got we got good amount of money. Gian Marco, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. Can I craft any trinkets? Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, let me check. Yeah. Second mind about something? Let me see. You need something exclusive, huh? Yeah, so I could do the moose antler trinket. Look at this. I just hope nobody's missing this too much. That'll do. Oh, I can get the high roller revolver now. High roller revolver. I want to check this thing out. Whoops. Yo, that thing's pretty. S oh, man, that thing's sick. That thing's pretty damn clean. Time to go, boy. All right. So I'm not getting any other missions right now. So maybe we'll, yeah, we'll head down and do this with Dutch. We've been in chapter four for quite a long time. <laughs> we, might, we might have tapped, tapped out chapter four for the most part. We grab this uh, wagon here. Hello again. Huh? Oh, you did it. Crystal just fixed a, a phone screen. Huh? 
I caught some Might want to disregard. She has to. She has the home button doesn't work. I hate this uniform. Wait, do I got to go to the other window or something? We got to go over to this window, guys. This is the window that he, uh, he gives us the info through. Ah, perfect timing. I've got a message here for you. <clears throat> this is for you. Watch yourself with this one. Should be two, maybe three coaches, and they'll be well guarded. Ooh. All right, don't you worry about me. But I do worry. It's my curse. Two to three coaches? Thanks, mister. How far are we talking from here? That's not far from here. And how are things with you, dear? Hey, boy. We want to be careful though, hitting these at uh at night. My visibility is gonna be super low. It's all right though. We should be able to. Uh, I'm gonna try to do the sniper like I did last time. I don't know how many rounds does the rolling block hold per shot. Or per clip. Actually, we'll go with this one. Yeah, we'll use our bolt action. And I'll throw, um... Yeah, we'll use express rounds. Bolt action with express rounds. Yeah. And then we'll go check out and see what Dutch has for us. We're, we're in trouble, guys. We are running out of places to hide. You know what I mean? Like, it's literally everywhere we go. Rolling block single shot reload. That is a lot of guys. Michael, thank you so much for hanging out.
Nice. Hundred dollars in there. Yeah. Nice, so 200. Let's get the hell out of here before the law gets here. Not bad for some stage coaches, you know what I mean? The ghost, how you doing? Not bad at all for some stage coaches. It was heavily guarded though. I mean I had to take on quite a few guys. Howdy, mister. The old Gray's place. Seems like nobody likes me in this world. Come on, dude, don't make it. Really, horse? What? You, you just don't want to fucking jump yeah. over the goddamn fence? Yeah. Makes no sense. Like, he jumps over every other fence. <laughs> this superhero landing. <laughs> Well, why would he jump if there's an opening right next to him? Why wouldn't he walk through the opening? Or why would... Yeah, instead of, like, running into the fence. No Hi, reason Arthur. for it. You okay? Come up here. I will be. I always had a soft spot for that, Kieran. Okay. Mm, Mary Beth. All right, so we're going to get some sleep. We'll link up with Dutch in the morning. We'll see what the hell we can do for the camp. Because, yeah, we're going through it right now. Okay. Chapter 4 is kicking our ass, guys. I thought Chapter 3 was bad with the whole Grays and the Braithwaites. Lenny! Oh shit, it's already morning. It's already morning. Sun's coming up. 
Screw it. Sleep to the afternoon. We'll, uh, we'll let Arthur get that good sleep. Tahiti. That's where Dutch wants us to go. You really can only go up from here. You know, like, how much worse could it get? Well, this is where we bounce back. Mm, what is that down there, though? What is that? Sun boy. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta see what that symbol is. I got mail too. I think it's for my fish. Come here, Arthur. What's up, Michael? Rob a stagecoach with you? What do you want? Always full of sunshine, ain't you? Old misery guts Morgan. <laughs> what do you want, Michael? Hmm. Well, I I want a friend, Arthur. I want hope. I want tomorrow to mean more than today. I want this whole damn shit show to have some kind of meaning I haven't understood. <laughs> but I ain't holding my breath. Yeah, I wouldn't. So, instead of that, how about you and me go and redistribute some property? Redistribute? Yep. From the Bowles Overland Stagecoach Company into our pockets. And you'll fight this time? I always fight. No, you always talk. But with coaches, guns are more significant than words. Oh, I'm fine with both, friend. Yeah. Come on, then. <laughs> you think we need an extra gun? Probably a good idea. Bill, come on. What are we doing? Coach, stick up. Well, excellent. I'm in. Micah and Bill, this is death sentence. <laughs> There's a good spot where we can hit it as it comes over the river into the swamps north of here. You got an actual plan this time? I got three sticks of dynamite, I got two pistols, I got you and Bill. That count as a plan? Not really. Well, let's go. <laughs> I'm joking. So, who told you about this? Please tell me it wasn't an O'Driscoll this time. Nope, a man on the inside at Bowles Overland. You can keep your funny little station friend in Rhodes. I go right to the source. Why did he tip you off? Charm, Bill. Not something you can learn, I regret to inform you. Very true. You're proof of that. Amusing. Charm. And a little money. Right. Which I recovered the next day when he met with a tragic boating accident. See, I don't like leaving trails, unlike the rest of you. What do you mean by that? We keep leading trouble right to us. We're carrying too much dead weight. We need to be leaner so we can move faster, quieter. I prefer a tight crew, just five or six strong gunmen. Well, nobody's stopping you. There's a whole world out Yo, there. Yo, Arthur wants to get rid of this dude so bad. strong man you want and leave. <laughs> hey, I like you boys. And with the price on our heads, we are wedded in this chaos for better or for worse at this point. It would be a coward's move to bail on Dutch now. Not like John did. Heard about Dylan, him how you doing? on you fellers. For a year, wasn't it? Something like that. I don't trust him. I've been talking to Dutch. Feels to me like he's turned. Let's cut across here. It'll be quicker. Challenging every move Dutch makes. I know you have your doubts about him too, Morgan. Oh, John? Uh, I got no doubts about John. I've known him for 15 years. Well, if we really are gonna escape somewhere like me and Dutch have been talking about, we're gonna need to cut some loose. 
From what Dutch says, the coffers are looking pretty good again. We could almost leave now if we chopped half the dead wood. We ain't doing that. I mean, why the hell do we need a gaggle of girls who won't even fuck you if you put a gun to their head? I'm sure you've tried. Is it too much to ask, considering they get a piece of every damn dollar I bring in? Okay, here we are. Mike is scum, dude. I'll get the explosives planted. Coach should be coming through any minute now. Dude. <laughs> Got some good cover over here. You hide behind this tree to my left, Morgan. Williamson, you take the other side. Try to stay out of sight. We don't want to spook them. I could have coaches coming, brother. Couple guns in the back. Here they come. You gonna shoot the charges, Morgan? About time you did something. Enforcement's coming in. Mangle them horses up good though. With the uh with the dynamite. How much we get, Cowpoke? Enough. Here. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Maybe I had you wrong, Arthur. Maybe you can win as well as fight. Or maybe you was lucky. Uh, we'll see, I guess, how lucky any of us is. Exactly. All right. Better get out of here. Split up, I reckon. Yeah. $300. That was it? I mean, it wasn't a huge take, honestly. One uh, piece. Huh? Give him some ibuprofen and have him drink some water. That was rough, guys. Um, I accidentally headshot the horse. But the whole, you know, IED situation on those horses, that, that was rough. But what can you do, right? What can you do? So I'm wondering if I should run in. Let's ride into Sandini real quick. Want to check my mail? Um, see if we got another letter from the mayor. If not, then we're going to go ahead and push this mission with Dutch. 
I do like having this double action uh, pistol too. It's. I thought about getting a second one of these. What do you guys think? Running two of those, I, I feel like it'd be really nice. Yeah, you know what? Let's go to the gun store. I feel like it's been a little bit. Let's go to the gun store. I might buy a second one of those handguns. John, I don't know why the map does that, man. Because it doesn't bug out for me. It's only on the stream. Uh, so I don't know if it's the smoothing. Like, if my bitrate or something is, is, is conflicting with, like, the smoothing effect that you get when you drag your map. I don't know. What's wrong with my horse, dude? That's my boy. <laughs> it's time to be saved. It's time to be safe. You, one of you, please take a pamphlet. Bien le bonjour. According to the great teachings of our master, this land is our heaven, and the two oceans are our shells. It is only here that we can truly be ourselves, where man can find his place in heaven. This, this is Chelonia, the one true are these the American turtle people? religion. The one true Bible that was handed down 100 years ago. Isn't this the this stuff Mary's brother was getting into? Our prophet from above. You just stay strong. You actually believe this shit? Hello, sir. Can I interest you in Chelonianism? Uh, I don't know. Can you? Well, I hope so. It is a fascinating religion that was taught to a very wise master about 100 years ago. And a land not very far from here. Take a book, please. Okay. Oh, you've made a wonderful choice. It is a religion of safety. A religion made by gods who understood what life is. Not what life could be, but what it is. And it is very dangerous. But with Chelonianism, it can be safe. Well, it's all in this book. Uh, am I boring you? Uh, a little. <laughs> I'm sorry. Have a wonderful day. All right, partner. You and your Chelonianism. Is that, was that a real thing, guys? You guys seen it, right? I'm not even going to say what it was. I just want to know if chat seen it. Fuck are you talking to, partner? Good thing everyone isn't as bone idle as you. Let's see, where is the gun store? So I gotta go here to your left. Oh, okay. This is how you die if you don't back down. What did I do, dude? You see what I'm saying? Man, this game just wants me to to be a savage. Monsieur? And if I would have shot him in the face, I would have freaking ruined my whole new leaf that we turned over. You know what I mean? But and but he's allowed to talk shit and pull a gun out on me.
without any consequences? Like, how did that not deserve consequences? Internet guy, thank you for the sub. You tried to steal. Watch yourself. Oh, pardon me, sir. Sweet you Jesus, you son of a bitch. What the hey, fuckers, I dude? I cannot believe it. I think you have me mistaken, sir. You're in the money. Give me the fucking money, bitch. Give me the money. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, here. <sighs> It'll never happen again. That, I swear. Oh, it's wrong. Help me. Help me. Oops. Oh, dear. We are lucky for this lovely weather. Weather's always fine this time of year. You want to know the sad part, guys? Is I got robbed. That the alley that I got robbed in, right down there. Loot him. Oh shit! He probably despawned. I didn't want to loot the body and get in trouble. No, he's still knocked out. Holy shit! That man had some money on him. Oh, that, that was my money. I never took the money back. <laughs> Oh man. Or no, was that was that my money or extra money? You got a problem? Yeah. I was I thought he gave me mine before I knocked him out. Oh, it was extra. Okay, that's what I thought. I was like, wait. Yo, that man had a lot of money on him. All right, Gunsmith, let's see what you got here, brother. We're, uh, we're going for two. Let's have a look in here. Two of these pistols. Oh, I can buy the semi-automatic pistol now. Hmm. I'm going to buy one just to see what it's like. Excellent choice. Oh, what is this thing? Looks kind of like a weird... Shaped Ruger, almost. We do a range of excellent sights with that gun. They can really make the difference. I think that's the right choice for you. You know what I mean? It, it, oh. Did you know a rifle barrel adds noticeable accuracy? We can do that to this model for a great price. You made a good decision. Oh. It's got a really high firing rate, too. Damage is very, very low. Yeah. I can give you some better options for the sights. I just wanted to grab one. Just to grab one. Um, let me see. So I still don't have the Mauser yet. Either you buy something or you leave. The repeating shotgun. All right, yeah, so I'm going to buy a second one of these. <clears throat> it really suits you. So my other one is gold. So this one... Let me see. Grip. This one will do a. That's a fine. I might actually do it like a silver ordeal on this. Um, get some new sights on it. So we're going to rock full engravings. Oh, 
Are you going to buy anything? Uh, Franklin has, uh, any chance I'll be work? Are you talking about the mod for State of Decay 2? Franklin, is that what you're referring to there? If so, um, I'm not sure, man. Um, I've kind of, I've done a lot of State of Decay content, like modded content, stuff like that back in the day. Um, I'm not saying I'll never play modded State of Decay again, but, uh, there's so many other things I want to try. I'm still playing the, you know, State of Decay as it updates and, you know, things like that. I'll be checking out the new, but like going any further into that, um, uh, I'm not too sure because only because there's so many games I want to play. All right, so we'll, I don't know if I want to switch it to like because this the iron doesn't look bad, but then it's like the nickel that's kind of like this off yellow looking color, even though it's supposed to be like a silver. It looks, I think we might just go with a regular silver. Either you buy something or yeah, you yeah, I see that. That looks that looks clean. The silver. Should I do the trigger black though? No, we'll do it silver. Yeah, we'll just make the whole thing silver. Yeah, that silver actually looks pretty nice. Yeah, I like I like the silver. All right, so I want to. Let me see. I should be able to change out my guns at the horse. So now I should have a gold one, and I should have my silver one. That's gonna be the guns we're gonna rock. Yep. So I got the silver and gold. That's sweet. Oh, you don't need to have the weapon to hand, do you? Two pistols, guys. Two pistols. All right, let's hit the post office. What I give for a horse these days. I should be getting paid for the fish if I were to guess what this mission is or what 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 mail we have. Well, hello again. No, oh, no, another invitation for the mayor. Let's check it. Good day to you. All right, so we got to wait until nighttime, right? And uh, we should be able to go do, do another mission for the mayor. What time is it right now? Damn it, it's not. It, I thought it would count for right now. Well, what is your problem, partner? Hey. What the hell? Surprised after that shootout, we can even What's walk problem? around the sound. Now, uh, like, Bronte needs to get what's coming to him after what he did. Sir. And guys, thank you so much for 432 likes on the stream. That is awesome. I really appreciate it. Have any cocaine? Sure. Okay, what? Oh, I simply must have some. Oh, I bet none of you bores have any. And if you did, I bet none of you would share. <laughs> this lady, man. Whatever you need, just ask. It's Miss Powell, and I need some that bloody he cocaine. He's a bastard. Well, I can't help you there. Oh. 
Evening. Jimmy! Is Jimmy here? Have you seen Jimmy, tough guy? Can't say that I have. Well, when you see him, punch him for me, will you? Bloody little man's late with my cocaine. Jimmy! Oh, mayor's open. Jimmy! You Jimmy? Stay out of my way. Never mind. Have a good night, sir. Will you please leave me in peace? SNA Racing, thank you so much for the sub. I do appreciate it. Jimmy! Is there anybody in chat whose name is Lenny? <laughs> oh, man, because I would feel so bad for you if you were like an IRL friend of mine and your name was Lenny. Because I don't know a person in real life whose name's Lenny. But if I did, I promise. Anytime I talk to them, I, I wouldn't be able to talk to them without being like, Lenny! <laughs> Every time. I'm pretty sure there's other, you, you in chat would do the same, right? go oh it's you I got his letter uh, mr. Arthur sir education is the most wonderful thing it'll raise us higher and higher Make civics and ethics less a work of uh, dirty-minded pragmatists like me. And the calling of higher, better men. Hear, hear. Without it, we are savages. But with learning, why, in 50 years, man will put down his guns and start living a life of relentless purity. Hear, hear. <laughs> but the rich can be so very self-absorbed. How can I help? You can't. We need all our strengths. That's the point. We've gone over this. Violence is never right. I agree with you. But it's not violence. It's the mere threat of violence. Against whom? Oh. <laughs> Against Hector Fellow's worst nature. To convince him to make good on his promise to help finance the library. Who is he and where do I find him? He's a newspaper man. And he's... He's a... leaving town on a coach, heading to his country estate, because he doesn't like your heavy-handed approach. Well, <laughs> he certainly won't like my heavy-handed approach. Thank you, Mr. Arthur. You'll spot him on the road through the bayou. He has a red coach. So we are clear, I do not approve of this behavior. Okay, well, you're not the mayor, so it doesn't matter. So this guy's trying to flee town? Why is my horse is bugging the fuck out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really, babe? He is your son, one hundred percent.
Is that the stagecoach right there? Okay, there it is. Stop the coach! Who the heck are you? Just gonna talk to your passenger a moment. Yo, we're OG just okay. getting we're, we're just getting in. What the hell do you want? Mr. Fellows, ain't it? Charity, sir. And an appeal to your better nature. This is most impudent. Oh no, it's not most impudent, trust me, buddy. I can get a whole lot more impudent, but this is a good cause for a wealthy man such as yourself. The chance to add some dignity to all that wealth. Dignity? By helping to finance a library. Think of the prestige. Sir. Oh, get out of my carriage. But the mayor. The mayor? The mayor is a crook. <sighs> Me too. And I'm a real crook. I will not be bullied by you, sir. Get out of here. <laughs> what do you think this is, partner? What do you think this oh, is? Sorry, was that? Yes, I'd like to finance the library for the common good. Ah! I didn't hear you. Ah! What was that? Ah! Please! All right! All right! <sighs> there. You see? That wasn't difficult. You know, they say it's better to give than to receive. Certainly in the case of a beating, I know that's true. Now, the mayor awaits your check, sir. Been a pleasure. There's a good man in there. Let him live a little more. Driver, hold up. <clears throat> As you were. Drive on. You guys say I'm a savage. Arthur is a freaking savage, man. But he's such a natural savage that it doesn't even come off like super, super like, oh my God, dude, you're like pure evil. It comes off like, I don't know. You're kind of just like, yeah, yeah, I get it. All right, Dutch. Let's see what Dutch's plan is. Do you guys think it's going to be a good plan? Nah, this is this is our last chance. Dutch wouldn't mess this up, guys. Like Dutch is, we've made mistakes, but this is where Dutch is gonna turn it around for the whole crew. This is our come up. We're, we're, doesn't get any worse than this, guys. You know, that, that stagecoach robbery, that was it. Or the, the the station here. I'm gonna, we're we're pretty much at the lowest of the low. I'm about to show you guys. This is where we come back. Yeah, Dutch has turned over a new leap. Fucking Italians after me. Are you kidding really me right now? This place. <laughs> yeah, 
go. Two of these guns? Insane, guys. They shred. Yeah, are they preparing me for a Mafia playthrough? Hey, maybe. Maybe that's what's going on here. They heard that I'm interested in playing Mafia. And they're like, you know what? Let, let, let's, let's show this man what's really going on here. I don't think Mafia is that savage, though, right? All right let me see. Let's, do we have any... I think I have some open snake oil somewhere. Pop one of those. Second the motion for the new leaf merch. <laughs> I mean, who would actually wear a shirt, you know, representing all the like all the leaves I've turned over? It's not really been that many leaves, so I've, I've only turned over a couple, guys. Hey, who are you? Arthur, dumbass. He <laughs> shit. Okay then. <laughs> you can rest now, boy. Miss Grimshaw? Hello? All right, Dutch. Save us. Arthur, come up here. Ah, Angie said, but well, honestly, I wear a medium, and I don't think there'll be enough room for all of your leaves. <laughs> oh, got jokes. Got jokes. I see how it is. So, oh, I shit, here we go. Deciding vote. By what? <laughs> we take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? But deal with business the right way. We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker. I just got hit by his by guys. Fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. <laughs> Trust me. Arthur, if it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. Oh, shit. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. We're going after Bronte? So. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Lagra. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp, catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See, I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur.
Okay, follow me. Yep, there it is. Looks good. I'm loving it. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Idiot! Feels like Jose has lost his spine. But this move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. Welcome and to the Bronte family, son. The yeah. Heather with the eight months. Thank you so much. Pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith! I am bending over backwards to make a future for us! I know, but... But! 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 When did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. Anyway, here we are. Let me it's do the fishing town. Um, Rick, so I, I, I applied for the channel membership gifting, but uh, I still don't have access to it. I don't know why. I asked YouTube about it about a week ago, and Thomas they just sent me this thing to fill out. Good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Maybe one day. Arthur? Thomas is quite the Maybe one day I'll get, a, help us get, get that feature. To our prey. But we'll see. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend... Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find it. He live. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm not... I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say Didn't so, Doesn't sound Dutch, smart to be going around. Way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. Heather, thank you for hanging out because tonight. ground, it feels like water to me. First person for a bit. Lucifer, what do you mean? can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Like, like playing the game in first person like this? Nah, dude, you're trying to get me scared, bro. <laughs> I don't like it, dude. It's... <laughs> Lucifer, thank you so much for the super chat, brother. You keep a lookout for company? Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. I can see the fucking gator right there, dude. Can you please check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur? It's empty, dude. 
This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunty? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Did I see sure the gator right there? Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. Who would do this at you night? Can this see doesn't. Why swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The mm. night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wilder than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. But we're fucking nip deep. Stop where you are. It's a gator. All right. You got, let me, let me, uh, I got to reset my, uh, camera here. All right. Yeah, uh, this is, I, I get this, like, weird crash. Like, it, it happened to us a bunch when we first started playing the game. Uh, we were getting, like, this weird crash where the game would, like, wig out on me. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, it's it, it's super, super strange. I don't know why it's do it does it. So we're at the restart the mission. Yeah, make sure my headphones are back on. Ooh, Valborg's only level two. That'll be interesting. <laughs> I think it's up to whether they all go to sleep at the same time. Yeah, we all. All right, let's give it one, more, one second while I fix this, guys. Uh, it hasn't been bad, though, you know what I mean? Like... Over the whole time we've been playing, I'll have to. It's only happened what? Um, it's only happened a handful of times. You know what I mean? Um, but it like resets my freaking uh. My headphones, it's super weird. We all have to jump in. All right, we're good. And not different. We are good. It, like, goes through and, like, resets all my audio. Like, uh, my USB port. It just, like, super, super wakes out my keyboard and everything. <clears throat> so
It's a pretty good looking mission though. I don't understand who would wait around. Yeah, I keep I keep popping in that cryptic Fox's stream uh, to make sure my audio works. I play on console sometimes, Mr. Chet. Yeah, um, especially if a game is only on console. Um, I've been playing on console. But yeah, going ahead and, uh, oh shit, we're, we're like spawned us out here at the swamp. Have I played a game called GTF? No, I haven't. Different beds. All right, Dutch. Let's try this again. You get the deciding vote. By what? We taking it. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. A man a about a boat. We're headed to a settlement called Le Grand. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Okay, follow me. Hey! Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about Careful. sides. Feels like Jose has lost his spine. But this move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Yeah. Like I was talking about, this move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. 
We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith! I am bending over backwards to make a future for us! I know, but... But? 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 When did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Thomas, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Be lively. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number, big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. Right, let's hope the game doesn't more than a prehistoric rep pick up on us, us again. You, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the higher ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Hey, what does this have to do with... I don't understand. You keep a lookout for company. Coming in the water has anything to do with going to find Bronte. This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Bronte? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why Eden and Swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folks sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wider than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Too deep, man. Come on, game. Don't break on me again, please. Whoa. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. That works. So that's all we gotta do in the in the in the wild, guys, is just don't move. Keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. No, I mean it works. Does it work in game? Like, if I got a gator after me, I could just stop moving? Or if a gator's close to me? I wouldn't do that shit in real life. I'd be gone. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Ugh. 
Don't shoot the gator; it'll eat Dutch. The problem with that, though, is if I don't, if it eats Dutch, didn't want to I'm gonna fail the mission. My God! Holy so shit! True. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was. No, but only some huge could do this. Oh, fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. I... I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Damn, Dutch. Hold up. It's like fucking three gators out there. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. Really should have run into the jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. No, 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 dude. Okay. You never watch Scooby Doo? It's Since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. What the fuck? Why? Why do I gotta go by myself? Darian, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. A tree stop. No. Hey, someone there. See a fire or something over there. Some kind of light. I don't know if that's outside the radius though. See that over there? up in the tree all right well come down bud come on in the tree. all right well get down Over this way. I'm not fucking going over there dude So dude, just get out the fucking tree. It's safe. Up here. Hey, you 
in the tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Mastiff, it nearly ate me. Hey, where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. What the fuck am I doing where in the water the then, dude? Over there. I ran. I... No. Okay. <laughs> and, uh... Where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. Good luck shooting that thing. You'll need a cannon. I think... Please get the boat, mister. I've been up here for hours. Like I said, the skiff's just over there. I got the skiff! It's over here! Stuck! Got it loose. Jump. Good man. All right, let's get back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Now what? I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Who? Hey. Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> you'll see any giant monster long before it gets anywhere near you. you got a couple of crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Pull! Fucking okay, stuck. Oh shit. He won't kid. No, I'm going in. No, no, we can't lose the boat. Arthur will go. Well, quick. Quick, Arthur. The, what the fuck do you mean I gotta go, dude? This is not this is not my style. This is not what I do. I Kid, I can put you out of your misery. Fucked up, man. Oh, God. Oh, shoot something. Oh, just, just don't look behind you. God, oh, God. I'll fire oh, off a couple of please, warning sorry. shots just to pretend you care. Oh, I got you covered. Oh, we don't look behind oh, me. What is it? God, no. Please, hurt. 
What is it? Is that the gator? Look at the size of it. Oh, no. Holy fuck, dude. I think he's going. Shit, that is one big old gator. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. Wow. It was massive. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you got in him. No. Dead ahead of us. You see him? No. Shoot. Look how big that shit is. Whoa! Did you guys see how big it was? Finish that son of a bitch, Arthur. It's gonna be all right, dude. Just hold on. Look at the size. My guns are in going. bad shape. Shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. I know I, I should have took some big guns with me. I didn't expect this. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I'm pecking away at it with I've a pistol. The I think it'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you got in him. Dead ahead of us. You see him? Shoot. Okay. I think it's had enough. We kill now, it? Jesus. Can we get back now? You're gonna be okay, kid. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Oh my God. There's a monster out here. He's been bitten, but he's alive. Just keep him warm. Feed him garlic for the infection. 
<clears throat> Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Me. Thank you, Thomas. <clears throat> Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. <clears throat> I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. He's a bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. We got monsters out here. Well. Yo. <laughs> that was a big ass alligator, dude. Now, let me see. My cores are looking all right. Guys, thank you for 500 likes. I've done some challenges. Yeah, we've definitely done some challenges. Missed you, boy. All right, let's give the horse something to eat. Yeah, there, boy. I wonder how this whole attack on Bronte is going to go. Yeah, still no side quests. I think we bled chapter four. Yeah. You ought to take care of that horse there. And the good thing about this game is, um, from what Caspi said, when you beat the game, you can still do missions, right? Like, you can continue playing even after you beat the main story. So then we'll be able to go around and do some of those, like, cool little side activities and shit if that we... Because, obviously, I'm going to miss stuff. We'll be able to go through and make sure we hit all... all do every, like, almost everything. There we go. Yeah. Go, how you doing, brother? Yeah, we rescued the guy from the basement in the gu uh, the gunsmith. Hell yeah. Check total completion details under progress. Um, says I'm 50% through the story. So we're only halfway through the game, guys. That's not bad, right? 57% uh, total completion. Yeah, I'm only 50% through the story. Damn, I... <laughs> I've been taking my sweet ass time. <laughs> so, Dutchie, what's the heady like anyhow? Oh, we're definitely gonna be no trying idea. mafia, uh, Darren, no for sure. Paradise. <laughs> That's what they said about the West. And look how that turned out. Arthur. There you are. Come on. Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. Here's the gang. Here's 
Here's the gang. <laughs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got up preparing for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my <laughs> life trying to teach you boys. Love you, though, I do. Well, love, leaving love aside, I... <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. <laughs> well, Wraith, I appreciate this, so, brother. <laughs> now you pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Well, this is it. Lenny, Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. Still, John. Let's go. Find some cover. Two up ahead. Of course. Something creepy about these statues. <laughs> you don't like naked. You taking them or me? We're coming for you, Grande. Send out every man you got. Don't you know when to quit? Arthur. Good. Now kick that damn door in. Wait, what? Quick, Wait. before we lose Bronze. Look out! Hey! 
Stop hiding, you bastard! All right, let's spread out. He's hiding somewhere. Arthur! We got one on the stairs! Lenny, oh, keep that door covered. Let's check upstairs. He's not down here. be in one of these rooms. Dude, you really hurt him. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. Gratis Mauser. I ain't touching that piece of shit. Are we so, taking him to Dutch so, then? So if I grab the Mauser and I put it back down, I wonder if I, I just have it now. So I definitely don't want to lose my guns. Wants to have a little chat, Mr. Broughton. Oh shit, man. I kinda wanna loot this damn room, dude. Uh. I can hear the police already. I can't put him down. I would loot him, but I, I fucking can't put him down. Front. Bill, you help. Oh, you got him? Oh, come on, Lenny. No, he fucked up, dude. All right, come on. Let's Why? What, what was I? What was I going to be able to get, guys? What did I miss? Yep. Oh, hey, big man. We gonna ransom you or what? Oh, you're pathetic. Oh, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money. It weren't no about two hundred fifty bucks. Of that's, okay, that's not the end of the world. Nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> and when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you gonna say now? 
They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. No, no. They are good at smelling filth, huh? So oh. filth has got to be disposed oh. of. Oh. Our friends of oh. Pinkerton are going to come and rescue you, you oh. repulsive little maggot. Oh. 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 Call them now. You call them. God damn, Dutch, what the fuck? Jesus. What part in your philosophy books cover feeding a fellow? The goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. Holy shit. I didn't expect that. Like, I, I mean, I figured we would we would kill the guy, but Dutch went straight. Like, I'm telling you, Dutch, this is the way to do this job. The distraction will buy you all the time you need. I don't like it. the right plan. We've done the work I've been in town, looking, watching, and. And waiting. I've, I've tested it as well as I can. It's the right plan. I, I just. All right. Let me. I want to change. I want to change up my guns real quick. All right. Uh, oh yeah. So I. Yeah. I do got the Mauser pistol. Um. So I'll just store that in the locker. Store that in the locker. Store that. There we go. That way, I don't got to sift through seven thousand guns. I like keep my gun inventory clean. Let me see. Do I have any spare ammo over here? Not really. If I go to the, um, I'm gonna go to the ledger. I'm gonna top off our bullets. So we will purchase that. Ammo should be restocked. Yo, it's actually really, really cheap to restock the ammo. It's only like 20 bucks. What's my favorite camp so far? I would have to say the the, the one on the lake. Uh it was it was beautiful there. This one, you know, it's it's alright. The swamp's cool, the building's uh pretty cool, but I don't know. There was just something about that, like waking up, being outside, and that it was just nice. It was really, really nice.
Okay. Top off on our ammo. I've seen somebody say something about us cleaning our guns. I'm going to have to check that when I get out. I'm going to have to go, because I can't access my guns from here to clean them. Can I do it from the weapon locker? Okay, so... No, yeah, you can't do it from there. I'd have to do it from my uh, horse outside the base. Because it doesn't let you draw your guns, even to clean them in base. Uncle, or son, I, I'm sorry to hear that, brother. Seriously, man, that's tough. You don't have to apologize for not being here, man. Definitely take care of life first, you know what I mean? But I appreciate you finding time to be here, and I'm hoping you can find some comfort here, too, man. Come over here, hop on the horse real quick. Clean our guns. Easy, easy. You okay, boy? Yeah. Okay, wow, yo, our pistols are completely wrecked. 100%. Why? I mean, we have been shooting the shit out of them. Damn. I didn't expect that. Oh, shit. Look at... Uh, what is wrong with my gun? It's so dirty. All right. I've yo, the thing is, I just cleaned the gold one not that long ago, and the silver one, we just bought it. We literally just bought it. And oh, I semi-auto shotty. I'll clean this one up. The swamp water. Yeah, I know, Goo. I know, dude. All right, so we should be in. We should be in good shape now. See what Dutch's plan is, guys. I got faith. Dutch telling us to keep the faith. I got faith. Karen, Tilly, Abigail. I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city. There are police. But as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here. We know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying. It's as good a plan as any. I, th I think I agree. We do it at night. There's the dram of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. No, 
pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Hello. Go and get some rest. We ride out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light. It's about to go down. You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks, we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. <laughs> Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! <laughs> it's a big go. one. Let's go! Crack that whip, Mr. Matthews! This is it, gentlemen. The last one. The last one. Where have we heard that before? What Shut up. Don't ruin it. You, John. Ruin you lost all your moment, heart. John. I'm just trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina and another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind. <laughs> Forget that. It's gone. You all talk huh? like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some hick town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right. With security, guards, police. Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out Great, the Great, thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it, but and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Got it? Got it. Yeah. Got it. Good. All right, that's enough talk. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. You'll know by the noise. Any problems? We'll see you in camp. Good luck, gentlemen. Right on! Yeah. Everybody know the drill. We head in hard and stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. You good, Bill? Sure. Then right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! One more time. Let's One more time, baby. Yeah! All came down to this, guys. All of our hard work throughout the story, and we're finally here. We are finally here. Nice and easy through town now, boys. We got rid of Bronte. There's Bill. Let's hitch up here. Gentlemen, robbing thieves, it ain't no crime at all. Folk like this, they stole what this country could have been. Stay cool, fellas. Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. <laughs> this, this had better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. Shit. <laughs> I love that whole <coughs> Do you 
He's a true artist. Yo, that man was not lying, dude. That is a hell of a distraction. Open it, partner. Hurry up. Open the vault. Come on. Hurry up. Arthur, you're with me. Let's clear this out. Forget all the drawers. Just get those safes open. I need the combination for these safes. Should be one more number. Last number. Come on. Fifty-four. Okay, I'm in. Would you look at that? Holy shit, they weren't joking. Get out of here. We got trouble. Looks like the wall. Come on. Shit. Let's go. Wait, that's all we getting? Okay. We got a problem out here. Come out! It's over. Shit, Abigail. Those fucking Dutch, Pickertons. Get out here! Oh shit! Get shit. out here now! Someone must have squealed. You never should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton, <clears throat> let my friend go. Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily. Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton. It's over. No more bargains, no more deals. Mr. Milton, this is America. You can always cut a deal. I've given you enough chances. Come on! So the plan fucking failed epically, guys. Hosea, though? Get up to the roof and draw on their fire. We'll follow you up there. 
say, dude. Yeah, I actually have no them. other gun. Yeah. Get up there. Up Ripper with the membership. Welcome to the family. And we will. Me and Lenny try and find a way across the roofs. If you'll cover us, sure, sure, go on. Where the hell did my other handgun go? Why do I have a fucking cattleman revolver? You got that <laughs> no, he's dead. Let him. Guys, it was like fucking. Was it because I wasn't looking? dead in the next few minutes. Follow me, one at a time. Arthur, you go next. Gotta keep moving, quick and quiet. Come on. Fucking Lanny, dude. Not Lanny, dude. Careful, careful. There's more law down there. Find these men. All of you, find these men. You, you seen anything? No, not yet. Find them. Like they're heavily patrolling around here. Arthur! Arthur! We can get in here! Come on. Uh, uh. John Abigail arrested. I don't believe Jose it. Dead, they knew dead. we were coming. Just like your fairy job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. Dude. Well, 
What now? Light fighter, thank I you for the know. sub. I don't. DJ Kid, thank you for the sub. This whole town is Mikey filled with Boy, cops. Thank you for the sub. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Well, a few hours. We go back to camp. They're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. Hey, where the fuck is Uncle? We come back for the rest in a He's few weeks. Back camp with the re everybody else. I'm guessing it's that. We die out there right now. Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I mean, oh, look at us. <clears throat> okay, follow me and keep your heads down. Right. Hey, let me know if my mic sound does the mic sound better. Yeah, when I, I punched it when Lenny died and I hit the fucking button. Quick, get in cover and stay out of sight. Looks like they've stopped. We'll go through the train, Arthur. Come on, rest you. Follow when it's clear. This is bad. Someone's coming. Duck. Quick. I'm behind the chair. I hear someone coming. Check the trains. You did? No more than a quarter hour ago. Are you sure? Sure. All right, then. Come on. Fucking hand got us dirty again, man. Shit, stop, Arthur. What, dude? Oh, damn it. We're never gonna get past these fellas. Arthur, head over to the water. See if you can draw them out. Draw them out? How? I don't know. Make a noise, whistle or something. Spencer said, See there? 
Sure. What you think? I don't know. They're watching for us. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, they ain't just waiting there for no reason. Yeah. Let me think for a second. I'll deal with them. What? How? I can't kill all of them silently. So, when they chase me, you go the other way. What are you talking about? You heard what I said. Oh, I like it. Real brave. What in the hell? Charles sacrificing himself? Excuse me, buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! That is one of the most beautiful acts I ever saw. Come on. You better catch up with us. some gold I'm sure this boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance I don't know John Lenny Jose that wasn't good I know so what are we gonna do now <coughs> guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain give him some of this gold to secure his silence and find out where we're heading how do I look like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. <sighs> well, it's gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella. A New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're gonna be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently. What are we gonna do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our families. At least we got some money now. Money? And loyalty. With that, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves, and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but, uh... <clears throat> that cloud looked like good news to you.
We fucking playing stranded deep now? We ain't got fucking shoes on, bro. Uh, where the hell am I? It does look nice here if it wasn't for the whole shipwrecked and dying thing. Yeah, there ain't no calling your horse here. Oh, I did try it. Yeah, there's no you. You can't do anything here except hold W. Like, it's like a whole cinematic thing. Sunburn, bro. Chapter five. Garma. We don't even have shoes, guys. All our cores are down. We have no satchel. No guns. Oh, it's fucking... It is beautiful here, though. I'll tell you what. It's campfire up here. map yeah we're just somewhere else dude yeah it's a whole nother map looks like there might be uh civilization on here but we're like way up north is that dutch You're alive. Are you? Oh boy, that's it. You're, you're alive. <laughs> How come they all have shoes? Are there? Of course. Okay. It is a miracle. It is a goddamn miracle. Here, have, have something to drink. Have a drink. Somebody yeah. give him a goddamn drink. Oh, son. Yo, we're all looking rough, son, dude. Take it easy. Oh, we got you. We got you. <laughs> So, where the hell are we? We are on the island of Guarma. Javier asked a local. It's a 
old sugar plantation island. Second island east of Cuba. Is it anywhere near Australia or Tahiti? It's on the way, I guess. So, what next? I don't oh, know. Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> well, next I guess we're gonna get shot. Encadenen a estos hombres. Gentlemen, this is quite a welcome. Who are you? Senor, por favor. We are no one. What's your name? Aiden O'Malley. Is that so? What are you doing, Mr. O'Malley? Surviving. We were lost at sea in the storm. Is that so? No. I'm in the habit of looking like this. Is all of this really necessary? We got enough troubles around here right now, Mr. O'Malley, without taking a chance on a bunch of vagabonds. Behave yourselves and no harm will befall you. Vamos! 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 Oh, shit, dude. That means move! You got a long walk ahead of you. I don't get your drift, Mr. Uh... Levi Simon, senior overseer for Alberto Fusar. We run the third most productive sugar plantation in the Northern Caribbean. Of course, where there's money to be made, there's trouble. What sort of trouble? Oh, the usual sort. People wanting what ain't theirs and others. T Telling them to take it. I don't get you. Labor troubles. And other thieves and pirates looking to disrupt our ways of working. How very upsetting for you. Not half as upsetting as it'll be for them. Mr. Fusar has a lot of very powerful friends. I will bet that he does. Bunch of Haitian pirates won't frighten him. They'll be strung up in the streets soon enough. And do we seem like Haitian pirates to you, Mr. Simon? You seem like someone or other. We was headed to Tahiti. You was going the scenic route. Just as soon as I know exactly who you are, you'll be free. In the meantime, you'll not starve. Cabo, llévese a estos hombres a la casa. Junto con el grupo de cucarachas de ese campesino. Going to jail. Tontería que hagan. Disparales a todos. Welcome to Guama, gentlemen. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah. What now, Aiden? I don't know. What are you thinking? I think we've got to get out of here. Yeah, but they can't find out who we are. Well, for now. We're stuck, Ben. We could probably take these guys. Well, maybe. For what it's worth, I think I would have preferred Tahiti. You and me both. No, we're all chained up. The only we can win a fight. We're not off to a good start. Who are these people? Who knows? Well, they got them chained and lashed, but they don't look too dangerous. Excuse me, sir. Who are our new friends here? <laughs> Criminales. What crime did they commit? Insurrection. <laughs> Insurrection? That's quite a word. Callate, señor Fuentes. Vuelvanse. Todos. Man, they got a whole fucking lot of us, don't they? I honestly didn't expect this in this game, guys. This is pretty dope. Like, there's nothing about this game that's like rinse and repeat, man. This is, this is some, like, some other shit.
Oh shit! Oh shit! Who the fuck was shooting? Uh, everyone okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, damn. Reinforcements. Oh, we need to get out of here. Now we're in trouble. Come on, come on, Fevit. Everyone, follow me. Please, Fevit. Come, come, come. Uh, 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 oh, get out of here. Get out of here. There's a lot of them. Uh, what do you think? We gotta move, Dutch. Cool. Don't lose face, son. We'll find you! Cooey! Cooey! Go! Go! What, dude? No way! Come on, Arthur! Quickly! I have some guns stashed here! Come! Hey! Me up against the wall. What are you doing here? I have no idea. Running from somebody or something, I guess. How went we on? Hetul Fontaine. Dutch Vanderlyn. These drowned rats are Micah, Bill, and Arthur. Okay. Well, Fusa will be desperate to find you. We must be very careful. So. Who is this Fusar? A tyrant. Driven by nothing but power and greed. Our only purpose is to work ourselves to death to make him rich. Leon wants the people to stand up to Fusa, but most are too afraid. And you? I am not from here. I bring things in and off the islands behind Colonel Fusa's back. Let's, uh... Let's rest a moment. Down there is Equa Dolce, Fusa's compound. The sugar cane these poor men kill themselves farming gets processed in that factory there. They're little more than slaves shipped in from other islands. A group escaped yesterday into the jungle, hoping to find a way back to their homes. Now Fusa's men are out, hunting them down. That old fort? Cinco Torres. My men and I use that as a hideout when we are here. Come on. I know somewhere you men can rest. Can we trust you? I don't see you have any choice. I am the only one who can arrange a boat for you. But, I need something in return. Help Leon with that group of escape workers, and then come meet me at the fort. 
If you help us get back our friend and get out of here, we will do everything we can. Thank you. Gracias. If your friend is still alive, they will have him at Futa's compound. There is a cave hidden below the cliffs. It will lead you right there. Thank you. The workers are somewhere in the jungle. Hopefully we can get to them before Fusa does. Of course. Gentlemen. Well? Goodbye. If this is a tropical paradise, so far it ain't up to much. I'll go scope the entrance to that cave. Arthur. I need to get some rest. Well, you're right. We all need to relax. <clears throat> what a mess. I am so sorry, boys. Get some sleep, Dutch. Micah, guard this spot. Bill, uh, do some more scouting carefully. There it is. Check out this, uh, some weapons over here. Don't take it, this is our new camp. Yeah, this is our new camp. Uh, let me see. So what do we have on us? Oh, we don't have anything, dude. We do have binoculars. Got some extra weapons here. Awesome. So I don't have my multiple holsters. So I can't even carry multiple uh, guns. I don't know if I want the volcanic pistol or the cattleman's revolver. Hmm. Well, duty calls. The cattleman's is okay. It's a hard choice. I think I'll keep the cattlemen's for now. Easier to shoot. But I don't know the because the the, the 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 problem with the volcanic is the firing rate. So I'll, I'll be able to get more shots off quick with the the revolver. But then the revolver it also has a well I don't know the vol this the cattlemen's has a really bad. Um, Firing rate action because you gotta actually it's only a, a single action. So you gotta literally cock it back every time you go to shoot. So I think I'll just keep this one for now. I can't grab the second gun. I only have one holster, so I can only hold one sidearm at a time. Garmin and Gary, thank you both for the subs. I do appreciate it. And I wanna thank you all for almost six hundred likes on the stream. That's absolutely insane. We do got some supplies around the camp, though. We'll grab this. Gonna need food. We're gonna have to go out, get some, do some hunting. Try to get ourselves some uh, stuff we can cook up. Get our cores good. So there are supplies laying around. We just gotta f grab, find them. Gotta sell some tonics here. Okay. Pretty sure that rums for. XP. Got a campfire here where we can do some crafting and uh, cooking. A lot of this rum here.
Do I, I? I prefer this. Well, I was using both of them. I, I like the skull field because it hits hard. It's a really, really hard hitting gum. But I like the double action because it shot really fast. Um, but I always did use the skull field more than I did the double action. Okay, so we are we are, we are geared up uh, for the most part. I think next episode we'll start off by just kind of going around. Maybe doing a little bit of hunting. See, I, I don't even know what kind of animals are on this island. So we're going to kind of have to go around and see what kind of animals are on the island. Try to get a little bit of meat so we can have something that's going to fill our course. Because we do have this food here, and this will fill our cores a little bit. Um, but we only have like five cans, six cans of food. And I don't know how long we're going to be stuck here. So uh, we definitely want to make sure we go ahead and get our cores filled up. And we're stranded. We're stranded on an island, guys. This... This is uh, this is definitely gonna be something new. I'm excited to see where this goes. Definitely excited to see where this goes. Seems like we're kind of in the middle of a little bit of a revolution, almost. So, if you guys are enjoying the content, hey, on your way out, make sure you guys are smashing that like button. Uh, easiest way to let me know that you guys are enjoying this. I want to see more of it. Um, I'm definitely having a good time. I'm so excited for this. Definitely so excited. It was a big episode, guys. Almost six hours we went. Jeez. That's a long one. But um, I do appreciate every single one of you guys. You all are awesome. Uh, like I said, if you guys haven't on your way out, smash that like button if you guys are enjoying the content. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It really, really does help out. And uh, yeah, other than that, guys, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.